can't even believe it. Do you feel like we're too close? Can everybody see like our pores? I am gonna shift us back a touch. There we go, that might be a little better. Good morning, good morning. Is our volume all the way up? Okay, you guys, guess what? What? I slept like this. Like I just did a little- <laughs> I woke like, up like this. I did wake up like this. <laughs> Well, it works, whatever you're doing. Good morning to the one person that I see joining us. People don't think we're gonna be right on time. We're surprising everybody. Um, do the comments start right away when we're doing YouTube or does, is that only glitchy on Zoom? It did last time. Okay, good. It did last time. Hi, Jean. Aw, thanks for starting the comments, Jean. Good morning, good afternoon, maybe. It's kind of noon on the East Coast, Jody. So you just slept and woke up like that? Now I really hate no, you. No, I put stuff in my hair. Like, it's like, I could barely get my fingers through it. Look how cute your cowl is, too. I know, you guys, this was a gift. Amber. The best color on you. She I picked love it. just a good color. Um, yes, Holly, Tracy's sweater. It stopped me in my tracks this morning. It's so friggin' adorable. It is a cute one. I can't wait to share. Except I think I have little pin marks. I, went, I meant to steam them out, but I don't really care. Um, guess whose province is opening a little bit more next week? That's very exciting. We had an announcement. Um, what? I can't hear you over the lawnmower. Oh no, he's weed eating now. Oh, there's a lot of that happening. Oh my gosh, Dandelion City these days. I actually thought this is Dandelion I I Island when I came down. Not so much your yard, but like your flank. Oh, and let me tell you, it. I don't know why, but it's that thing that drives Jeff crazy. He used to work at a, in a greens crew on a golf course or whatever. So he likes nice grass. <laughs> and so he battles the dandelions like a maniac and comes in all frustrated because there's no good pesticides yeah. anymore. It makes me laugh. It, Hi, it, Jackie. It totally makes me laugh. Um, it is so gorgeous here today. It puts me in such a good mood. Totally. And I love sitting out here. Like, it's just so nice to be able to hang out. Yeah. But you're right. So Alberta has been in kind of a mini lockdown compared to what other people are going through. Yeah. Many other provinces and places around the world are locked down for weeks and weeks and weeks. But it seemed to work for us. Yeah. Closing the schools, closing the restaurants, closing all the personal services. Wah. No nails, no hair. No, but I'll be there first Wah. one in line on Tuesday. But, okay, how about this? I have a haircut for the day they were supposed to open and it worked. So that morning. You said you made one for June 1st? Yes, I'm getting a, my hair cut in color. <laughs> you are so smart. That happened twice, twice. I got the first morning. So anyway, it's, Lucky it's the you. little little things. I have a. I was gonna say I have a bush, but like my hair is like. Oh no, speaking of bush. No, I can't even. <laughs> it is crazy. Uh, because you're a bikini waxer and not your own bikini waxer. What? Um, you haven't been able, no one's been able to no, get any right. grooming services. So like then I just settle for chemical burns. With like who knew? Home version. Oh my God. Like who knew my bush is down to halfway down my thighs? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like hair grows, I mean, Come on. It's like Ugh. more. And every time I go, go for that, I think, I, why have I not done laser? Hi, Vincent. I like, know. Laser. Come on. Yeah. The whole free world has done laser but us. Except if your hair isn't real dark, it's not going to be as successful. But it, isn't everybody's in the nether regions pretty dark? No. Maddie's red. Ginger's. Oh, okay. she's gin wow. She's ginger everywhere. <laughs> She said. I'm sure she's really going to be happy that you're <laughs> sharing that. We're going to edit that part out. Let's pretend we never heard that. Um, okay, that's hilarious. All personal services are opening. Yes. Which is great because I, you know how they track where cases come from? Yeah. There's very little of COVID cases coming from those appointments. People wear masks and socially distance. It's, to me, it's restaurants. Nobody wears a mask. Yeah. Everybody mixes. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. That's the reason why they were allowed to stay open but when we had the second sort of, right. not locked it, but second restrictions in place because there was literally nothing being reported for right. those services. Right. Anyway. Uh, I see Trisha from Maryland said good morning. Who knew Maryland was going to be on the top of my bucket list to go see the Magpie Market in person? Magpie Fibers Yarn Shop. I always have it in my mind there in Montana. 
No, that's Farmer's Daughter. I know. So they're also right I up know. there. I uh, England had a yarn festival last weekend, un Unraveled, I think. In person. No Zoom. No. Yes. I was so happy for them and seeing it at home going, I would, how great would that be to do that? To be able to you load up in a big empty bag and go <laughs> go visit booths and see people's work. Okay, so Knit City for the fall. Yeah. If I'm double, I'm going to be double vaccinated and I've had COVID. <laughs> You're triple. I'm gone. I'm there. Yes. Yes, Jody. If I'm I so glad you say it. that because I was thinking about that, that we're now starting to talk about things opening up because there's so many Albertans vaccinated one time. And then I would think by the end of the summer, we're all going to be vaccinated twice. Yeah. Fingers crossed. So yeah, put me on a plane, send me to Vancouver yeah. because I am dying to go to Knit City. Donna says hello from Georgia. Hello. Hi, Donna. Um, I'd love to go to Georgia, except I'm afraid of uh, snakes and humidity, but I do want to go. Maybe we don't go in the summer. Isn't it always summer there? Mm, it's cooler in the uh, winter. Sign fall. me up. I'm going yeah. anyway. Yeah. I'm going. Hello, Annie from Mid Wales, UK. My goodness. My goodness. Oh. I think I saw our friend Max, the knitter, pop in. Hello, Max. Good morning. Hi from Germany, Sabine. Um, so yeah, that's the big news. Hey, Alberta's possibly opening up. Well, it is opening up and kind of on a high note. The only other note, I was taking notes because I was thinking funny stuff happens throughout the week. Well, and now it's two weeks. Good luck me remembering something that happened 10 days ago. Right? That's the thing. Good morning, Paula, Mayak. Mayak's moving their studio. To where? I don't know, but I always wanted to go. Yeah. You know what's funny? I put we it gotta in the notes get out and here. I can't find the notes. <laughs> Okay, here's something that's really exciting and is happening locally this weekend, but it's virtual so everybody everywhere can go, is the Edmonton Fiber Frolic is on virtual this weekend. So that's amazing. You guys can go to their website and join. Granny's getting her hair cut June 4th. Is she? Is yes. that what she just said? Yes. <laughs> uh, and dying for it too, right? Like we're all just dying for a haircut. Um, I did find my notes. So Edmonton Fiber Frolic. That's exciting. I will link their website. I got my ticket. There's keynote speeches. There's so many good classes. You have to get a ticket. Um, yeah, you register. I think it was like yes, three ninety five or whatever. Yes. So with the registration, you get access to the marketplace. I think you get these keynote speeches. Um, and then classes. Lilla Hammer, Norway. There's so many classes. So check it out. Uh, Granny's not getting a haircut. Oh. She's getting a new knee June 4th. Sorry. What? Okay, so that's really exciting. So my mom needs a whole knee replacement, and she's been waiting for a really long time. There was a message left at home during garden shop, and she happened not to check her messages at home. She was bumped. Yeah. And then put first on the waiting list. So this luckily, is the first we're finding out right, right now. Super, I'm super excited. Mom, that's amazing. Um, yeah. And so then once, exciting. once she gets that knee done, there's no holding hold back. She's no right. holding back. She's out of here. They're going to be, they're totally vaccinated. You She's, know what? By mid July, they're predicting travel and like you go girl. Right. I bet you they're on the first plane to Vegas. <laughs> well, they drive. Oh, that's what dad said. He misses going to Vegas. That's his like yeah. relaxing, happy place. They got to go. Not. They got, just got to go for a week as yeah. soon as the borders open. Yeah. Oh, anyway. I, don't th I don't think we'll have to convince them. Yeah. But that's great news. We've been waiting. Yeah, that's excellent news. Kind of the last thing to check off for them. Yes. Okay, I have a note. Jody. Woman in the Window <gasps> on Netflix. I read the book. Amy Adams. I did not read the book, but it was always in my want to read list. I don't yeah. know why I did yeah. never got it. Who wrote, is it Ruth Ware that wrote it? I um, forget who wrote AJ it. AJ Finn. The book, they did a very good job on, like, I was just as happy with the movie as I was with the book. I hope that's a chainsaw. <laughs> uh, I loved it. So you watched it and loved it? It was so good. Amy Adams, I think, is 
gifted. She's a great actor. She made you feel so uncomfortable, yeah. like with her agoraphobia. Yeah. Um, and there were big actors in there. Yes. Like every character was pretty big actor. Yes. Anyway, uh, I'm sure lots of. <laughs> Sorry, I just we just can't get rid of it. Um, I'm sure lots of people have already watched it, but if you haven't, bump it up your list on Netflix. It was so good. It was a good movie. I'm yes. dying to go to a movie theater. Oh, we went to movies often. Leslie just said, is it garbage day too? Yes, Leslie. We can look forward oh, to that. Oh, it's always shortly. garbage day on Thursday. Um, movie theaters, there is a movie theater. Um, I prefer the book to the movie. I Girl, Girl with a Train okay. was amazing. Did I not read it. love the, the movie Girl Loved with a Train. Loved the book. Loved the book. So I feel like those those adaptations can go either way. And I'm, I love to read and I love a good book. So if they don't, do the best version of the movie. I get pretty disappointed, but it was really good. Yeah. Really good, I loved it. 90% of the time or more, it's book and then movie for me. Right. I listen to a lot of books. Right. I do love that. That yeah. was really good. Good call, Jody. Um, okay, and then good my, note. my other note was, okay, so I know I always get, like usually, I've had my eyebrows microbladed Tattooed. And tattooed. Well, it, not microbladed, but tattooed. And I think because I have psoriasis and it kind of didn't You're really, always exfoliating. Like and your skin Like it always. didn't stay, right? Because it's not really deep. It didn't stay as well as somebody else's might. Would you like me to Sharpie them on for you? Because I feel like that would stay. So I get my eyebrows colored every, like, two or three nail appointments, right? Right. Do you know how much gray now is in my eyebrows? You said that to me the other day, and I actually waxed my eyebrows yesterday. <laughs> Did you? Yes! Talk about, I have old man eyebrows, like I can get pairs that are like eyebrows. an inch long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one, Jody, has grays in it. And they're coarse, and they don't lay down like they're supposed to. It's like a pubic gray in your eyebrow. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. And so then I pluck it out, because it's thicker than your other hair. And then, and it goes really bad. It'll be back. But yeah, I, I get you. I know gray. It, gray goes everywhere. So wherever you have hair, Jody, you mm. probably have gray. Get a mirror. I'm sure oh. it's. I'm. I'm sure. Get a mirror. You might need to color. Oh, no. You might need to color. There's hair. no mirror needed because it's just like there. <laughs> you might need to color everything. Okay. Fun thing. Fun fact. <laughs> speaking of bush. Speaking of bush and hair coloring, I used to get my hair or my bikini wax from this girl and one time I went around Valentine's Day she goes do you want me to make it sort of a heart shape and I she said I can tint it like hot pink or or tell or. me you did that <laughs> she caught me off guard I was like what no <laughs> but apparently really? that's a thing oh you know what they can even do semi-permanent jewels that was very long time ago I feel yeah. like if she offered that today I might take them up on it you could get like a jeweled arrow pointing that way <laughs> enter this way I'm not so sure. I don't know, but I do, apparently it's a thing. Oh my god, that's so funny. That is hilarious. Okay, a really profesh podcast that knows that there's a lot of yard work happening on Thursdays would change their day so that it would be a better experience for the people out there. Yes. Like, I feel like if everything went smooth and it was quiet and we were prepared, you guys would think there's something off. Right. Like, what is up with these two girls that they're, like, killing it today? This is, like, honestly, this is ridiculous. This is, like, a bad... I think that's a chainsaw. A bad Saturday Night Live skit. We're literally... I, you guys, I don't think this happens every other day. No, Thursdays, the girls are podcasting outside. Let's I think see it's what a, we can do. It's a on. conspiracy. Yeah. I feel I like there's, real. like... I don't know. That's I don't funny. know. I don't know. Uh, it's hilarious though. Whatever, bring it on. It doesn't last and forever. And I forgot my knitting. My did whips. Not. I did. <laughs> yep, I did. Okay, bye everybody. We have nothing to say. I do have knitting FOs to show. Okay. And I have a really exciting whip. I'm doing a granny stripe sweater, all in one color. And it's I'll show you the pattern. Sweater. You know, like granny crocheted? squares? Crocheted. I'll show oh, you the picture. Jody. I'm doing that sweater in neon coral. Oh, good morning, Kathy. Now I have to wait two whole weeks to see I'll it. I'll send a picture. 
but I was Miss Instagram post later. I was really um, wanted to be on time this morning. And so there's always something I forget. That's funny. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll be honest. I don't have a lot of whips, but I have lots of yarn to show oh, and I yes. have an FO and we had an amazing gift surprise in the mail that you haven't seen yet. Yes. Yes. We also had a surprise in the mail from our friends at Traveling Yarn. No, our friends at, um, oh my God, hey. Yarnbirds. Oh no way. The special surprise. The yarn truck. The yarn truck. Oh my gosh. I still, that's on my like knitting list of things I want to do. I want to shop in their truck. They're Alberta. No. No, they're, they're in, in the US. US. There's somebody, is there somebody in Alberta or am I just not uh, thinking right? I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, dying to go to into their, and the colors are amazing that they sent Jody. She just left a note saying, I thought you would love to hear about a new, not new, I, I would love to show you an indie dyer that I don't like think you favorite. know about. Yes. Yeah, I love that. Yes. Yeah. She's probably right. She's probably right. I don't want to know. Just kidding. <laughs> JK. Okay, show me something you finished. JK oh, on the JK. Oh, how about this? Oh, this old thing? What do you mean? What? Okay, I'm going to stand up. Okay, so I came down the stairs that she has a three-stair landing. She's wearing jeans. Not the best angle, I'll be the honest. The cutest linen sweater. Okay, go a little super bit. Super? Okay, the shirt is super um, wrinkly, which is just linen. But this is the Miserina tee, which is pretty cropped in the pattern, but I, I did it regular t-shirt length because I'm going to wear it by itself. Yes. Right? Because it's, it's meant to be worn by itself, but you can also layer, layer it, right? So it's a fingering weight sweater with a um, really fun yoke. They've got a little bit of lace and then these cables that separate color work panels. So it's just a round yoke t-shirt sweater, which I love. The body, you have two options in the body. You can do yarn overs or you can do these little pearl bump textures. Uh, so I opted for that because then I wouldn't have to always wear something underneath yeah. it. But I think the, the yarn over version is beautiful and I could totally see myself knitting another one. Um, oh, I didn't bring the yarn that I used. I had just a little nuggets left. I could have probably made my sleeves a bit longer or I the body longer. Are perfect. No, but I didn't think I needed it. I think it's is reminding me of a happy face. Isn't it so cute? Two eyes and a smile. It's so cute. And it's just a very easy neckline. Like it just, it lays, I'll wear it another time without anything underneath it. But, um, I think I'm probably going to wear it this way the most. I'm obsessed. Jody, you need one. Tracy, I'm going to cast it on. Okay. Because, and I think I need it oh on a 4.5 millimeter needle. The yarns I use, I love. So I want to tell it's you about the spectacular. Jody, you just shift that's so cute. A touch this way. Perfect. Yeah. Um, the main blue is Luna from Espace Tricot, which you guys, is this fabric is amazing. It's so yes, beautiful. It's a lace weight BFL, which sounds really scary <laughs> because it's so fine. Yeah. But I held it double and easily. I actually got gauge for this pattern, so I didn't have to fool around okay. with different sizes or anything like that. And the contrast is Mondim sock yarn. Any second, he'll be right wow. behind us. Wow, he's gonna weed whack whatever's right behind us. Yeah. Um, so I only used about 34 grams. It is gray, but it's a real steely gray. It's like that slate blue. It's a slate yeah. blue. And the problem was oh, everything goes with it. Everything goes with this color. You can pick anything yeah. and it will work with this color. Yeah. I, I initially thought I would do like a really pale, Topi, go neutral, but I love this pop of like unexpected. I don't know. I just think it's fun. Yeah. I actually, I'm looking at it in the sunlight and it's almost like a stormy blue teal. Like, yeah. <gasps> it's so gorgeous. The color is called Ogilvy. Um, Espace Tricot are amazing. They didn't even, they didn't have this color in the shop on that base at the time. And I just said, can you let me know when you're going to have it? Yeah. Uh, two days later, they were like, done. It's done. We dyed it for you. It's ready to go. So let me just say, Espace Tricot, I know we're obsessed. Their customer service is incredible. Off the charts. Yeah. Off the charts as well. Off the charts. And they're just everybody, the whole team. Yeah. Everybody filling your orders. And if you, I've phoned and had to have some things you know, rung up over the phone. And then of course, Melissa and Lisa, everybody is incredible. Yeah. So 
if you're looking for a, a local yarn shop to support, we love supporting them as well as our actual local. But um, I love, I love it. So Joe, I, I love this yarn. I would use it again I just many just, times. Um, the colors in this, I this yarn is amazing. Say, I would use the lace weight if I, I mean, I probably will find something at home, but this fabric that it's made is so. It's really open. I was gonna say gauzy, but it's not quite gauzy. It's it's a step a little um, thicker than gauzy, but it's so beautiful. Well, and I have to say when you, like even when I wear it with nothing, oh, it looks like it would be super see-through. It's not. When I put it on, it's not see-through at, at all. Fingers crossed. No, no. <laughs> What's it's, the point? It's so beautiful. I love it. Um, and when you think when you hold something double that you'll be able to tell with your yeah. knitting, it's not. You no. can't. Like, you can't even tell that there's two strands held. So, anyway. I, I actually really love a fabric that you make, and I have a hat that I'm going to show, and I've held double. I love a held double fabric. I just think you get so much mileage out of a yarn. Like, yes, you can hold it single, but holding it double, now you've got a whole other realm of possibility yeah. with patterns and stuff. Yeah. Um, and and then you can marl things. One color, one strand, another color, exactly. another strand. Um, holding things double is a really fun technique for lots of things. Um, so you think you would do this pattern? It was really fun. It's a Caitlin Hunter pattern. 10 out of 10. It was originally designed in Cozy Posy yarn and it in the merino linen fingering weight base. So perfect for summer or warm weather. Yeah. I think you guys um, would, everybody would love it. So, but even though we're not a warm weather place, yeah. I'm going to be able to layer it. Oh. I'll totally wear it a ton. I want to knit more t-shirts. It's so versatile when you knit it short sleeve like that mm. and the fabric's not heavy because you're going to wear it every season. I agree. It was super fun. And less than two weeks of knitting without, you know, things happened in the middle yeah. of the project. But I was almost done in, in about 10 days of knitting this. Just this. I wasn't knitting anything else. Yeah. Um, but it, it flew. So I'll get a nicer picture and I have a Ravelry page and I'll put any info up there. I really just extended the body to the length that I would wear a regular t-shirt. Right. So I don't know. Um, well, you know what we did talk about that we said we were going to, uh, do a, a knit, a knit night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to do, okay. So today's the 27th. So yes. Two weeks again. We're gonna podcast on the tenth. Okay. And then the eighteenth, the following Friday. That's not the one in between. I just thought June eight, Friday, June eighteenth. Okay. Could be a knit. Well, we'll look at the calendar. We're not gonna put it in stone, but I did say we would we would look at the calendar. I would and, love it. And I and you know finalize things. Okay. Um, Star, our moderator. Yes. Um, is now one of my test knitters. <gasps> she. That's I, amazing. She commented something really sweet on that pattern, my new sock pattern that's going to be coming out. And I said, mm, do you want to be a test knitter? <laughs> I can add you to the I list. always feel like I don't want to pressure people to do that. Like, feel free to say no. But yes. Yeah. I have about 20 people or something. And really, I only need two or three. Right. Like, everyone can if they want. Right. Pass every time if you want. Right. But if you're excited, I would love for you. And you know what I found this round? I had some new test knitters. I had three or four new test knitters. They were gung ho and super critical. And that's exactly what I want in a test knitter. Oh my gosh. I, I totally agree. I'm, I'm a bad test knitter, I think, yeah. because I always think I'm the one making mistakes, but you want someone that's questioned anything, any exactly. typo, any number, any whatever. Yes. It's so helpful. That's the whole point of the test knitting process. Yeah. I love this. Yes. that are always so generous to test my patterns. Um, well, we and I always look forward to that kind of feedback. Yes. Like the, I love it, but also, hey, this isn't working and this yes. didn't work for me. Those are, th that's fantastic. Yeah. So I thought this experience with some new test knitters and some new feedback, not, I mean, it's amazing every single time. Yeah. I'm so grateful because we couldn't do this oh my without gosh. people testing. It's so important. Right? Yes, I would never yeah. not test knit. So with some new ladies in the group, it was... Uh, That's really yeah, fun. Yeah, it was fun. Jody, I love hearing yeah. that. And okay, Star, so if you ever want, Star was awesome. Star sent me a message and offered to test knit. I just haven't written anything yet. Yes. But I would love that yeah. kind of... 
I had Chris was new and then I had a couple other ladies. I don't even, I'm embarrassed. I don't even think I knew their first name because they just gave me their email. Right. But everybody found something in the pattern or suggest, it was, anyway. Jody, awesome. that makes Love me so it. happy. Kate, okay, do you want to share what the pattern is? What are, we, what are we talking about? Oh, you guys, I didn't bring it. It's the blue and orange striped shorties. It's gonna be oh, next yeah. week. So watch for that. Do you that. have a name yet? They are the... Oh, oh, yes, you did. Beach Party. Beach something. Beach Party Socks. They were so cute. They were running like beach ball. I saw the name and thought, love it. Yeah, Beach love Party it. Socks, I think it is. Okay. So, Jody. Anyway. Super fun. So you're totally addicted to the DK Socks. Yes. I think anybody... I've got yarn. I've hair. never heard anybody that didn't love knitting a DK Sock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tracy, they're fast. That was one of my Who others. Who doesn't love a fast right. project? They're the perfect gift idea. Okay, so I'm going to remind you guys. Um, this is, what is this? <laughs> Paris du jour? No. Paris in Berlin. Paris in Berlin. You guys, this is one of I those. hope. Do you guys remember? This was such, I wear mine, Jody, all the time. This I'm, was a gift knit. I'm going to knit one for mom. She would love it. She would wear it a ton. The only thing with this is mom might like a few extra stitches so it's not even a little bit bigger not any any longer i mean i love it cozy around my neck and i would knit it to pattern so you would just keep increasing i think you increase i don't even know really how it's knit oh i think you increase flat okay and then join it in, i don't know for sure You'll but that would to be easy to out. adapt that would be easy to adapt so unlike a shawl it's a cowl it's like a it is a cowl it's a shawl it's like a shawl cowl mixed together because it's attached. It's like a bandana style, but it's, it's so pretty. I would have never looked at that and said, oh, I'm going to wear that. And I thought yours was DK, but it's not. It's fingering. So one skein of fingering weight. One skein. Jody, speaking of that, our your, um, love song kit, that's what I thought I would knit. Yeah. And I think you could do like a little stripe at the bottom, edge it in the minis yeah. or not, whatever you think. But one skein of yarn, that's a great one skein project. I love it. And we it have just... a crazy friend that has knit it how many times? She's oh. knit many. Yeah. It's her one Two of her all time worth. favorite yeah. pattern. Yeah. But you guys, we all have those one skeins that we fell in love with, yeah. that it might not go with a project. We can't pair it with anything. Right. You know, it's, it's these little projects that fly off the needle. Totally. Purse knitting. Totally. Right? Purse knitting, it. when that was a thing, when you could go places with your knitting. Uh, it's coming back. I'm, I'm getting excited. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to put a sock project in my handbag because I yeah. can't wait for the fiber nut to say we're open for just, like you can drive over and shop whenever yes. you want. Laura just suggested that this would look great in a gradient. Or, yes. Or maybe she's knitted or seen it in a gradient, but mini that? Five minis? Yes. Or marled? Yes. Totally. Totally. I mean, I love it. Go on and on. On and on. I love it, Jody. Okay, so that's what you're wearing. That's what we're both wearing. What else is going on? Do you have any more FOs? Um, not really. I have a hoe. I've got a couple of things that I. We don't have. Now to go I only in order. have socks, Jody. I I have a hat and socks, which is great. But I also have like things I bought, things that okay. we get to give away. We are going to show. Um, some things in the shop towards the end, but you just mentioned Love Note. Mm -hmm. We did add our Love Note kit as love a- Love Song. Sorry, Love Song. Right. As a yarn only option. I love that idea. There's so many sweaters and t-shirts. Like, so this, what do they put the yardage on there? I think I would have only needed two kits to make this sweater. Yeah. Because it was 800 meters. The blue was 800 meters, and I did not use all of it. Right. And I knit like a 50-inch size. Yeah. So so that's available, and we'll talk about it later. We're having a free shipping weekend. Right. Um, um, I do love that. And, I mean, people that really love it, you know, when you get it, great, but it's not something we'll have all the time. So if you yeah. see it and you love it, yeah. you might want to grab yours and worry about what to do with it later. But I I do have something that I've been knitting yeah. with, with the Love Song yarn because I love the color so much. Do you remember what the code was? Free ship May. Right, at checkout. Free we'll, ship May. We'll talk about that yeah. more. But right. it's free ship May this weekend and it, worldwide. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's exciting. So that's yeah. 
It's kind of like a little party. A little bit. Right? A celebration. I love that. Yeah, I love it. So, what else do you have on the go? Come show me some knitting. Okay, so speaking Ooh. of the love song, okay, you guys, I fell in love with this kit the minute Alicia sent us a picture. Jody. Yes. Right? Yes, we were gobsmacked. We so love the color. It was soft and romantic, and I thought it needed to be a hat. You're totally right. I love, love the way you use the minis. Jody, this is so pretty. So I you close. Okay. So I used, um, it's, it's fingering weight is our kit and it's held double throughout. Um, this, you knit one row of the one color and you purl the second row. So it's like you're seeing. I love the pearl half and bump. Half. Pearl bumps. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And then we've got some little bit of twisted um, stitches here, ribbing in between. Which makes it fit super well. It is right? so cute. And I'm having two sizes. It'll be kind of a like a large slouchy and then kind of like a small, medium, more fitted. This one is Joni, like, that is super cute. This one is like a little bit, am I a hipster with a jean jacket? I was gonna say, what? Who are you? Who knew and I the could, glasses? Boom. Who knew I could pick the pull this off? Just kidding. Don't you love um, stripes though? And that little bit of texture yes. ribbing. I love it, Jody. I think this is gonna be super fun, like an advent. Yeah. I think it's gonna be super fun for scraps. Yep. And you're right, minis. And I mean, I think it's super unisex. Yeah. So you're gonna be able to knit that for literally everybody on your gift list super fast. Yeah. So it's basically worsted weight because you're holding fingering weight double. Yes, exactly. Or you could get away <laughs> with it. You can even get away with a DK. I don't, like, he's, he's doing it a, a lot longer today than normal. I feel like he's being passive aggressive. Yes. So this, I will write this weekend, and hopefully oh, we'll yay. have some testers over the next few days. So this is going to be my next pattern. Jody, out. what the heck? So it might be a good weekend to get I love a it. kit or the yarn only if you want to knit this when it comes out. Totally. I love it. I love it, Jody. I love stripes. I'm kind of feeling myself right now. Don't you think this color, <laughs> you should be. Don't you think this color too is, is so yes good on everybody? It's, it's like a, it's like a blush, but not a blush. It's got the tiniest little speckles. It is, it is like the rose gold family and yes. the, any of those lovers, I think you would well, It's I know, like a really totally dark, the minis is like a dark plum and then a deeper rose gold yeah. tone. It's not brown. Yeah. But I love it. Yeah. Good morning, Carson. Hi, Carson. How are you? Um, okay, so I have some socks that I've been working on. I got two socks. Love it. I've actually been thinking, I've been thinking about a new sweater too. Do you want to see that first or do you want to see a sock? I want to see the sweater. Okay. So, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, so of course, you know, you cast off a sweater and even before then when you're just finishing I'm gonna one, look what he's doing. No, seriously Go go do this <laughs> Oh, he's blowing it off. Oh great That's the last step hopefully, right? So of course as you're finishing a sweater You're already thinking it feels weird to not have a sweater on the needle like I have to yes Right yes. and I remember when ho he was talking to us and she was like when you become a sweater knitter, and we were like, oh no, no shawl, socks, hats, we're done. Anyway, this one came out and I was totally smitten with it when it came out. The Sparky by Andrea Maury. You have always wanted an all over color. You've talked about that so many times. I have. Yeah. And so I actually, the reason it, it popped into my mind is because I have it's knit in Magpie Fibers Nest Sport for the main color. Mm -hmm. And I bought that yarn through Knit Stars last time. They have an, uh, they had a Knit Stars color and it's this marled gray oh, and cream. It's beautiful. And then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to swatch for this sweater. I haven't even measured this yet. It just dried. What but is the nest base? It's Corey Dale. Okay, it's non superwash and I thought I could tell wash. right away, but it's not too... It's toothy, but not scratchy. It's very nice yarn. <gasps> Ooh, and it's bouncy, you guys. Yeah. 
fingering weight sport. Uh, sport and let me tell you it comes in amazing colors you'll find it in lots of local yarn shops you'll find it at magpiefibers.com but this is my little swatch it looks exactly you're gonna have twin sweaters what Nest, oh, you think na Nest is spun on Whidbey Island where well, Carson lives. It's so nice. It's so nice. So I'll be on okay. Do you want to know like the good and the bad about this? Oh, can I just touch your swatch? Sure. I bought some spin cycle yarn to be my contrast color, which is literally what it's designed in. I thought I'm gonna I love their yarn, it's very special. I'm gonna buy it. That's beautiful. Tracy. But I chose a color that does not have a lot of variation. So when I knit, if I knit this, I'm not going to get a lot of color change happening in the sweater. And Do you want a lot of color well, change? Well, I kind of is thought so. Is there color so. changing happening in there? Well, this is, she picked a color that was pretty, no. I mean, hers has a bit of color, bit of color change at the top there. So I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I could use other colors of yarn, right? Like start, you know, knit so many rows and change my yarn myself. But I was really hoping the yarn would do it for me. Yeah. But you know. I actually, I can see what you're, I can see where you're it's thinking It's a beautiful is. color. I love it. I also, but I'm surprised at how not multicolor yes. this is. Um, can I just say, using these two together is going to be stunning if it's that's what pretty, you choose. It's pretty, right? Yes. It is pretty. So even though I planned one thing, I hoped it would be one thing, I think it'll still be beautiful. I haven't even measured my swatch, so I hope I'm on gauge. Wow. But that's what I'm kind of thinking. I loved, so I've knit Andrea's Weekender sweater. I've knit her now the Comfort Fade Cardi. Yeah. She has really so many beautiful patterns. But I knit the socks, this version of socks for you for Christmas. It's a really easy, fun color work it, pattern. They're almost turn out almost like a slippery sock. Are they? Not slippery. Oh, slipper like thicker. Because they're thicker. Because they're thicker. If you guys want to start small, you might want to try the sock. It fits amazing. So I guess that's my that's why I was hoping for more color change. Because your socks. That was a wasp that landed on me. Your socks have tons of color change. Oh, and that was really one of the fun parts for me, like seeing, just like stripe knitting. What's coming next? What's it gonna look like? So I feel like you're I don't gonna know need, how I feel. I feel like you're gonna need to choose something different. Uh, if you're, you, I, I feel like you might be a touch disappointed. It, no, no, a touch thinking it, it would be different than it is. I think I can break up this, this part at the top to make it look multicolored myself and then just go straight with this for the body. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes. so you get a little bit of that really pretty um, variation. Has anybody seen the flicker and flame hat that she's doing a, a, a knit along for? It's beautiful. I love it. And I, I really wanted to cast that on too. See those projects, you guys, that are just um, like smaller, anything like an accessory. It's super fun to join those knit alongs. It's not a big commitment. Look at how that fades. So that is totally like she's using, um, Spin Cycle Yarn again. Uh, we love also Yarn Hero is a very nice yarn that does the same thing at a really great price point and the skeins are bigger yeah. if you're looking for something else. Does Yarn Hero have... Or you could do minis. You could change oh, minis. Yeah. So I want to knit this just for fun. Um, but you don't want to turn people off because it's they're not using the same yarn as in yes. the pattern, right? There's lots of things you can do. Do you have any other spin cycle yarn you can use? I've, yes, I've, I've been collecting it a little bit, so. I actually think, wouldn't that be I fun? Do joke. Like and I have yarn said, hero. to change. Yeah. Like create your own striping effect in the. In those V's? Throughout the whole thing. Like up here? Oh, I see what you mean. Like just. Yeah. Maybe have three or four or five different that you knit so many inches. I don't know. Yeah. It's beautiful. And Max just said hand spun would make it amazing. I mean, how cool would that be in hand spun? Max, look what I did. Jody. I'll talk about it. I hope Max has some of those because he's a crazy spinner these days. I feel like I would love spinning, but then what gets sacrificed? Yeah, you only have so much time. 
Yeah. So then you're making yarn to knit, but it really is, it's like a total dream for me to spin yarn and knit the sweater okay. or knit the socks. I don't have that dream. It would be very cool. Yes. Cool project. Yes. I would be just as happy to knit a sweater with somebody else's hands. <laughs> right. I, I'm not. Yeah. You know it's what I mean? real special. But I do hear that it's spinning is super meditative mm -hmm. and really relaxing. Mm -hmm. So it, it does different things for you than the knitting, right? So whether or not you spin and knit it or spin and gift it or whatever, just hang on to it forever, um, that spinning process is supposed to be really just something all by itself. It's so beautiful to see other people doing it. I think I would be the tensest spinner ever. Like, it's so bad, like it's so, what am I doing wrong, oh my God. We would need, yeah, no. And I'll talk about it when I talk about the, the bump that I bought. Yeah. Um, I have zero intention on ever spinning it. <laughs> Well, it's super cool decor. Yeah. I am totally going to copy you and get one you at should. some point. You should. Um, so what do you think of the way this feels? Oh, the fabric is amazing. The yarn's amazing, yes. right? What needle? This was a 3.75. No, thanks. Uh, maybe four. Okay. Shoot, I should be way better at it this. It doesn't matter. You haven't started. Now it's like I have to swatch again because I don't remember what my needle was. Pretty that's sure, not like you. I'm pretty sure it was 3.75. Yeah, that's not like you. Yeah, it was 3.75. Okay, you guys, that would be a nice sweater. Would you do pockets? There's pockets in the sweater. Hello, where, Earth where are the pockets? Right on my stomach. No, <laughs> no. So I would not do, do. Okay, good. That's where I was leaning anyway. No. But they're super cute. I would never use them, but they're a really cute idea. I they still, are. I still do want to knit something with pockets. Look at that little rainbow skirt. That's adorable. I know. Anyway, love it. Look at my printer was on point this morning. Jody, are you out of blue in your I printer? I don't know what I was out of. Okay, so I did bring a <laughs> Very few. Very helpful to print those. And you know what I do? Like I, if I don't, I put this some in my favorites. So I screenshot it and print it. So, and then I delete it. So it was like, I just going out the door, grabbing right. my patterns thinking, I printed ours at work yesterday. I print so mine are beautiful. The isn't, printer at work is so it good. It uses the solid, the it's a the solid blocks of ink. It makes beautiful pictures. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree. Yeah. So this one is called Oat, and it's by This Bird Knits. You guys, it was really reminiscent of oh. me, like a love note oh. in reverse. Okay, Jody, I put that in my. Um, Instagram stories last week because I am in love with this. Is that not gorgeous? It's a three quarter sleeve. It's a raglan sweater. It's knit from the top down. I didn't even look to see what it's knit with, but I just thought it's so beautiful how they've done the patterning on the sleeve where it's a little bit more solid and then it gets more, um, a little bit, it just fades a little bit with the lace. So this, the designer is Annie Haas from Michigan, uh, and that is DK and Mohair held together. No, it is not. Jody, There it is. That's what it should actually look like. It's actually not yellow. But or This to me was gonna jump on my needle. Jody, and what's the, what's the neckline? Is it V? It's round. It's okay. round, but it's beautiful raglan increases that we all love that is just it's, so flattering. Jode, I could totally, I would totally knit this. Oh, I love it. I loved everything about this. The sweater. So if you guys are wondering, um, all the patterns we're going to talk about and all the yarns we're going to talk about, we'll have links in our show notes, which are in Ravelry every time. So don't worry about writing things down If you look yet. below the video, you're going to see um, Grocery Girls Ravelry Group, and there's a link underneath it. If you just click on the link, it will take you straight to the page where we have all these different topics. You just click on the one that you're interested in and this one would be the show notes for 134. Okay, look at Annie's other pattern. Yes. That's also raglan. It's called the Whisper Sweater. It's beautiful. Her designs wow, are- Wow, that's pretty. Beautiful. And she's, this is a test call happening right now for her. So <gasps> if you're interested, testing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, Jody, I love that love one that it. you picked. I actually picked some patterns too today, which is great. Okay, let's show some socks. Show me what you've been got uh, in the bag. Didn't I just share my knit? Oh I just yeah, share. You, did. you go ahead. I finished my DK socks. I feel like I'm gonna 
I'm going to shift that in just a sec when you start Jody. talking. Jody. This is Woolens and Nosh. I talked about it last time. Had you, I cast on? I totally, you sh uh, I don't remember, but this color. I think I might have done one. Maybe. Yeah, you're probably right. Swizzle. I believe this is Swizzle. Stop it. She's having an update this coming week, I believe. You can check out her Instagram or her website. Woolens and Nosh. I'm in Ridiculous. Love. These fit so good. Jody, they're beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And I am working on a vanilla DK shorty slash longer. It'll be kind of versatile. You I guys can it. make it your own. Feel love. Those. Oh. Her base is amazing. I mean, honestly, when you do, like, when you're, I'm only showing socks here. Socks, socks take a while to knit, but they're super addictive. Yeah. Like, I just seem to get in a sock zone. I must have six socks on the needle right now. I Do you didn't, really? I didn't think it was worth showing them all today. I'll save some for next time. But, yeah, I have a bunch of socks on the yeah. needles. And a, a tube that I cranked, which is beautiful. Uh, but and I have all these plans for socks, too. Totally. Jody, these are awesome. And I just want to mention, I do have another one to show. Woolens and Nosh has her Advent 24 Stripe in fingering option or DK. Oh, Kevin said that it was on the oh, 25th. Oh, yeah, Kevin. Sorry, there's no... But keep checking she, back. It's not like the last update. She, She'll have another one. She keeps updating. So, but her Advents are available right now. Mm -hmm. I ordered... Good for you. Yes. DK? And fingering. <laughs> <laughs> it's a treat yourself. You know what? Good for you. I have already given myself big heck. I've got three years of advent calendars that I have not worked with yet. I'm not allowing myself to buy advent. Tracy. No, I know. Guess what else I do? I'm a hag to myself. Renee from Spun Right Round put up two things. 13 day countdown of Halloween. Fun. She's never done that. Fun. And an advent. She's never done. I ordered both. I was going to say, that's hard to pass out. I'm not doing, I, don't you guys tempt me with anything Last else. Last year, I could not, you not had get like Renee. Three. So at some point, no, you don't have to. I was going to say, you have to stop. No, you don't have to stop. Anyway, it, they're very tempting. They're tons of work for everybody that does one. Yeah. They're super fun to open something and count down to whatever, whether you're counting down to Halloween or whatever. Whatever you're counting down to is really, really fun. Let me just say, Renee has got the Halloween still available. These will, be, these will be gone in a blink. Her colors are amazing. And the December Advent. Oh. Yes, Nicole, you are going to be able to make... Tell me how much yarn you had left for this. I could have made, if you use contrasting heels and toes, two pairs of shorties with a DK skein. And you'll have all that info in your pattern. Yes. Which is really helpful. Yes. Okay. So if you wanted to treat yourself to a skein of DK, yes. I mean, it depends how long you're knitting the socks for, like what size feet you're knitting for, yes. right? You know what I think is really cute too, is when you do a solid I was just going to say. And a contrast color and then a striped foot with the contrast color on yes. the toes. Super cute. So you can mix a solid and make the most of your stripes and just where it shows on your foot, you can do lots of Because guess what? Things. If you did that, yeah. where you just use a blip, you could get maybe three pairs of DK socks with one skein. Right. Because you're only doing, you know, a few inches on each sock. It's true. You can do lots of fun things. So it just depends yeah. how tall you make the leg and how long the foot is going to be. But, yeah. you know, the first time you knit a self-striping skein, you'll see. You'll see yeah. how far it goes for your size. Yeah. So, so these, are both, these are both oh. Woolens and Nosh. Sorry, this was going to be my second one to show. This is Jody. Do I have that? Yes, I have that in fingering. That might be spring flint. I don't know. It's this spring. I just spat. What is it called? I have it in that Targi base, and I round it up. That's as far as I got. Look at the... I love. Oh, no. Yes, it's so beautiful. So this is also a vanilla DK sock. This was done. April in... showers, that's right. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Right. That color is amazing. Like the colors and that she's chosen are amazing. This is the length I wanted to dip my sock. And then this happened to be where this was going to be cut in. And it was exactly this. I didn't, 
wind off any yarn to do that. Oh my gosh, so it just turned out like it was it was like destiny. perfectly matched. Yeah. That's DK sock karma. I'm obsessed with this color. Joey, I love it. I'm just going to move our thing. I'm going to do that while you talk about your sock. Okay. All right. Well, I have been knitting socks. I'll show you my DK one first since we're on the DK train. Choo -choo. I'm knitting. Toot toot. Okay. This is Magpie Fibers. Um, swanky DK. So it's a merino cashmere nylon DK yarn. And this is the color Saturday Night Beaver. Mm-hmm. Don't you love their name? I sing a lot when it's stand up, stand up. <laughs> there you go. And I just started a really squishy offset rib sock. I am obsessed with these. Dode, I love them. They fit incre like super well. I love that. These are gonna be the Saturday socks. I am gonna write the pattern. No, that's the cleverest name. Oh, isn't that funny? Cause now it goes with the, the color name too. That's not what I thought. I just thought they're squishy and they're like comfy and cozy and you can knit them on a weekend. You can knit a pair of DK socks on a weekend. I feel like these But are now with the Saturday Night Beaver color, I feel like my subconscious named them. So they're Saturday socks. I'm gonna, this will be the, something that I try and finish right away. But look at the speckles, what? You guys won't believe the squishy. We've talked about this base before. It's so nice. It's so, it is a treat. Like a little bit of cashmere, but it really is amazing. So that's my one. I haven't finished yet, but these are. So, I'm close. So at this point, would you write the pattern and just do temp pictures and get it out to your test Yeah, letters? so as soon as I finish one, I'll weigh my yarn and I'll uh, mm -hmm. write it up and see if anybody wants to test it or has time to test it or whatever. But they're super cozy and squishy and soft. Okay, how did we not get on a DK train before now? Well, I, like once, last Christmas, I knit Hannah a DK pair and I started knitting that um, Patton's Croy. And that's when it was like, this is a game changer. These knit way faster. So and it, if I'm honest, I don't, Get, I don't ever buy socks that are thin fingering socks. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful to wear and I will never not wear a fingering weight sock. Right. So I actually, Zach I love, love knitting them it. both. Oh, Zach, send an email. Send me chocolates and we'll talk. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have uh, DMs on Instagram and there's yeah. email. Yeah. Yeah. That's so nice. Thank you. How do 100% merino socks hold up? Who knows, Kevin? 100% merino DK. If it's super wash and you knit them tight enough, I mean, there's lots of things that make good socks, right? Yes. Super wash is, it does have a little bit of a nylon element when they super wash the wool. Yeah. And if you knit them tight enough, they should last for a while, but then you can knit a new pair when they don't, right? For me, it's I, worth trying. It's worth Lots trying. Lots of people knit them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think knit it with whatever you want. Yeah. I and mean, then see. Yes. But knit it at a tight gauge. That's really important. Yeah. If you're super hard on your socks and it, you know you go through socks when it's a nylon base, yeah. you're not going to want to do 100% super wash because you know it's just not going to hold up. Not. But you could just alternate something because there's a lot of bases of DK that have the nylon. Yeah. Pick a nylon base. Right. And, or even a commercial. Like there yes. are lots of commercial DK sock yarns now. I actually bought one a while ago from the Fiber Nook and I don't think I shared it, but I'll bring it next time because it's so pretty. It's blues and it's got a little bit of flash of lime green and yeah. hot pink. And But it was not only super affordable, but it's 75% wool. 25% nylon, super wash. So I feel like it's gonna wear oh. like iron. Yes. And I'm just being cheeky, Zach. It would be my honor to have your work and you help me with this pattern. So yeah. I'm just kidding. Send a grocery girl's email or- Yeah, um, for sure. That's so nice. A DM. Yeah, that's so <laughs> cute. It's always fun getting some new people. Yeah. Totally, it would be, I always think it's just such a, it's so, generous of yeah. someone to give you their time and feedback because that's what it is yeah 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 um max also suggested or said he has seen people add some mohair to the heel 
because that's silk you guys that's like the strongest yeah mohair and silk are really strong and of course there are some silk yarn bases and silk is like nature's oh my god zach slid into your dms <laughs> see you later uh -huh. i'll be <laughs> Um, that's so cute. Thank you. Uh, but that would be a pretty swanky, like even swankier than cashmere. Like is cashmere the best fiber for socks? Mm. They're very, like when you, once you have a pair, you're like, why haven't I done this before? Yeah. And just technically they shouldn't last as long, but I have to say I've not had, you know, I've knit MCN socks before and I haven't had giant holes right away. But just know how you wear your socks and make that decision from there. It's true. Yeah. It's true. And you can also add, there's some uh, commercial, it's like lace weight, 75, 25 wool that you can hold in the heels and toes if you sure. know that's where you um, wear through them. And if you wear through the heels a lot, an afterthought heel is a great idea because you can literally cut it off and just knit a new one. Hi, Marianne in Norway. You can just keep knitting Love yourself it. new yes. heels. It just depends where you wear them. I always wear mine out on the ball of the foot. My heel never seems to wear out. So everybody's different No, my that heel. Way. You know, I don't know that I've ever worn out a... Because I usually... I mean, I'm not hard on my socks. But um, for some reason, well, I don't we wear, wear them, them out. We wear them in boots all the time. Yes. I feel like we're good tests for that. Because yes. we wear them a lot. Yeah. Like all... All the time. And this, for example, we did talk, this is 100% super wash, but um, I mentioned before, it's a very, it's lots of plies. It is? Yes. Oh, I didn't know it was an 80-20. Are you nope. sure? No, positive. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm 95% I'm <laughs> positive, but. No, you're probably right. Really tightly twisted. Right. So that makes a big difference. And yes. the number of plies makes a big difference. And you're right, how it's twisted makes a difference. Let me tell you guys. Um, I would love to get my hands on this base. Great. It's a beautiful base. Good. Yeah, she has beautiful You socks. said eight ply? No, I said lots of plies. Oh. I didn't count. Well, it is gorgeous. And four ply, baby? I'm just guessing. I don't really know. All oh, right. Don't even listen. Like, you <laughs> No, don't know. I literally have no clue, so yeah. I will not even ask. Okay, next pattern. Yes. Next pattern. Okay. Petite knits. This just came out. Jody, you should knit this. There is a, there's a place on Ravelry. You should knit this. Where it's, I forget what it said, but I did see that it was coming and now that it's out. Um, it's out officially? It's out officially. Petite Knits. I love her aesthetic. I love her shapes. She came in with an oversized. This is what mom was talking about. Mom said, oh, I love that pattern that had the zipper up at the front. I said, what are you talking about? Yes. So you, did you put it in your stories or something? Yes, I might have. Okay, so if this was in a store, wouldn't you just want to buy? Yes. Like, you would buy it so fast. I would buy one in every color they had. Look at those cool slouchy pockets. Yes. Like, that's a beautiful, that doesn't really have, it's like a tubular yeah. edging or something where it just, there's no edge. It's, it's called the Zipper Jacket and it's by Petite Knits. It's just out in the last week. So it's a hot off the press, brand new pattern. What is it knit in? I don't know. It's amazing. I don't know Set either. in pockets, you guys. Listen, this would be so fun to knit. It would be a new technique because it's set. I've never done set in pockets and I've never done a zipper. Jody, you need to knit this. Don't you feel like that's my aesthetic black leggings and boots? That's all I wear all winter. And a t-shirt. Right. Jody, I think you really need to knit this. So this might be my new, one of my new cast on. Like in that color, whatever that is. I might, I want and that And she yarn. always, she always has mohair. She seems to love holding mohair with everything. I think it's so beautiful. And obviously it looks like a big gauge yarn. Like I don't think you're dealing with fingering weight here. I'm not kidding you guys. This is totally me. That would be amazing in luft. <laughs> or I, air, drops air. Yes. I do want whatever it's knit in. The marled, it's a little bit marled, isn't it? It looks like a sweatshirt. Like yeah. it looks like the coziest, coziest. You guys, I, I think... love it. I really think you should knit it. I do too. Because Don't you think it's me? It's you. Not only is it you, but it's different than the things you've been choosing. I agree. And right? I, we yes. all love a raglan. We all love a color work yoke. But it's. I like sometimes to choose something that I, I haven't been doing. 
I also feel like if I start now, this could be like a three month, four month project so that then it's ready in the winter. But if it's worsted oh and mohair, maybe it's on six millimeter needles. Are you maybe you kidding me? What's it called, zipper jacket? I'm gonna tell you right now what it's made out of. It's the zipper jacket. I think she's adorable. Petite knits, her aesthetic is classic shapes, classic colors. I, I think they're very Everyday, classic. Everyday, it's Erin <gasps> with mohair. You had me at Erin. Don't you think, you guys? Okay. I'm not kidding you. I wear black leggings and boots all winter long. Okay, so it looks like, ooh, I don't know that yarn, but the gauge, the gauge is 15 stitches. That's a bulky gauge. And she used five millimeter needles, but I might even go five and a half just to see what I can get. Oh my gosh. But yes, it's somebody asked, is it a sweat, a thick sweater or a jacket? They're kind of the same, right? It's kind of that piece where it depends how hot you are and yeah. where you live. Like if you, it could be a transitional jacket for sure. But here in Alberta, in the winter, you could wear that indoors with a t-shirt. Yeah. Or that in a vest if it's a cooler day outside. Yes. You'd be warm enough, right? Yes. I totally agree, Jode. It's <gasps> Aaron held with mohair. mohair. Okay, so how about this? I don't see you an could English use... option. Oh, no. What? Her patterns always come... If it, it says okay. coming soon. Okay. Whoa. It'll come out very soon. It's usually a week or two. No more than two behind the Danish pattern. Right? It's Danish? Yeah. Okay. She's got the pattern right now in Danish and Norwegian. Um, It'll be out in days. I'm going to get my yarn and get ready. You could knit this in a worsted weight yarn. Like if you had enough worsted weight of some color. Yeah. And your mohair could be a slightly different color to create the marl. It could be natural. So, or the palest gray and you've got a charcoal gray. Tracy. You could make. You were talking about that. Yeah, because it, it works and it looks amazing to have a different color mohair. But, like, you may have a more, like, a Cascade 220 or something like that that's more cost-friendly because mohair is not cost-friendly, right? You could mix the two of them, but different colors to get that marly, cozy look. I, oh. have, I have a really dark charcoal worsted weight yarn. So I'm going to need to find Aaron weight. Yarn. Worsted and Aaron are so close. Like, so close. To get gauge, you would be able to get gauge. I'm gonna. Sometimes Aaron is harder to find, and you get less yardage on an Aaron, right. of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I honestly think. I'm gonna do my research. I'm gonna look into the yarn that she's used. You should swatch a worsted and a mohair, because you'll have something at home in worsted and mohair, just anything. Well, I have a giant bucket of undyed mohair. I can well, there pick you my go. color. There you right? go. Yes. Oh my God. Can you see my wheels turning? Totally. Because the love note, Jody, is 16 stitches. That's the mm. gauge of the love note. This is 15 stitches. It's a, on a way heavier yarn. I'm sure you could knit this on a five or five and a half millimeter needle. Zach, who's your boss? My boss dies, Aaron? Who's yeah. that? Take good notes, Beth. Beth. You know me by now. That's never, don't hold your breath. That is never going to happen. I'll put my notes in my phone. Maybe notes is going to be, you know what? Hey, Siri, oh, no. add a note. You can do that. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Bruna. I actually have things here to share that I... Oh, shoot. I forgot it. I could go get it. I bought some fun things from the Knitting Loft. Did you? Yes. I bought this really cool felt zip um, pouch. And they have some fun things. I, I don't know if I'm going to share it today, but if I'll for sure do it next time. I forgot it. Of course. Well, I think we should just quit now then. Well, it's we're done. Sorry. I'm a total failure. I apologize. This just in, Tracy forgot all her shit. Jody <laughs> forgot all her knitting. Totally. So <laughs> this we're, just in. We're we on a roll. So somebody said good or bad, take notes, because then you'll have something to go by later. But you would never knit it again, probably. You're right. I feel You're totally right. I this person is right. I feel bad because I do, not very often, I have gone into the people's projects. Well, let me tell you, it helps, especially if you don't use the yarn in the pattern and if you do do something like worsted and mohair. Yes. But I honestly think worsted and mohair is no problem to get gauge for that. Okay. And you would need less skeins of worsted weight yarn because you get more yardage on a worsted weight yarn. Right. 
And just sometimes Aaron is not as easy to find, right? You know what? Even like at Michael's, they have this really beautiful fisherman's wool and it's marled like this. Tracy, I've had it in my hands And it's before. worsted weight. It's so nice. It's 100% natural wool. It is not acrylic. Yeah. It is not super wash. But that and a mohair. Beautiful. Would be awesome. Anyway. I feel like by looking at the picture, it might be a little drapier than that. Um, Do yeah, I don't know what this yarn is. I'm not totally afraid of these, but just when they fly in front I of I don't my love face. them for sure. Yeah. Okay, this one yard, it's Aaron and it's Merino. That's all it says? Yep, Aaron Merino. And this other one that she's listed is Aaron and Merino. So. Do you think drops air would be too fluffy? I worry about a heavy long sweater with something like that and a loose gauge. But, but mohair will hold it in. Drops air is like light as a feather. Right. I don't know. Joe. Anyway, I'll have to brainstorm. I'll text you and Amber and see. Yeah. Actually, Amber's a good one to text. I set off for Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Alexa. Set oh, a timer. I'm Siri. I think you've got the wrong assistant. <laughs> don't let me tell you what I think about Alexa. That's so funny. My Siri hates me. They never, ever, ever go on. How do I turn it off? Just push the button on the, oh, there you go. Um, it's fun to think of uh, other options. Okay, Star says no to air, air I think. Jody, no. I think she's meaning by me saying, oh. hey, Alexa, <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Um, okay, I have one more sock. Show me. Okay, this one is kind of a cheat. I've been I'm obsessed. I've been using our kit. Okay. So this is our little spring love song kit that we have in our shop that we collaborated with our pal Alicia of Yarn Inc. And cranked a tube. <gasps> oh, it's so good. Isn't it amazing, Jody? You guys, look at how beautiful this yarn. Okay, this is a good and get a better picture. This is our kit. It's the softest, it's got the softest like navy in there and it's got blips of like straw yellow and like baby cherry pink. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it is so beautiful. I love it. It is gorgeous. And so I just started using the minis and made kind of an afterthought heel. That's not the sock I saw, was it? Yeah. So this I has a- This was on the top of the foot. No. So this is a little bit of twisted ribbing and then I, because I'm knitting up with the tube and then I did one row and a bind off in the other color, which to me is so rose gold. I just freaking love it. And then little pinstripes and oh, kind, of, that's so good. kind of a round toe. Nothing crazy, but I actually, I love it. But this romantic color had me thinking I want to embroider. So when we were showing that beautiful hat from, um, crafty jackalope with all her embroidery on there I thought "Ooh, I'm gonna do that on the side of my sock and it'll be so elegant and pretty and then I was like I don't know how to do that <laughs> and I'm too impatient to learn so because of the yarn is called love song I just duplicate stitch some hearts up the back of my sock with the minis you guys this could not be easier duplicate stitch you're just I am it's super cute, right? And it is like the barely, I think it is literally the Tracy, easiest, the easiest so type, type of embroidery. Good. This was the most fun I had on this. I mean, I love it. Something different. And after the first one, it was super easy, right? It was, so I will, oh, maybe I'll link a duplicate so stitch video in our show notes. Good. It's also called Swiss, Swiss embroidery or Swedish yeah. embroidery or something like that. But, you know, after the first one, the second and third heart just flew. The right. first one, I'm like, yeah. you know, how f how big do I want it? Big. Well, no, big's not always better. Sorry. I'm just going to okay, say that. Okay, this is Let a manageable size. <laughs> okay, that's right. It, it takes just a little bit of time. Anyway, I love it. And stay tuned for maybe a sock pattern that includes some duplicate stitch you, because I'm a little obsessed. Are you not going to do this? I mean, I could. 
But Jody, I got yarn that inspired me, and I think I'm gonna do it with that, and okay. I, I can't wait to share got that. It. Who knows? You can do it on any sock, but a vanilla sock is is literally a canvas. Yes, it's a kit. Right? It's a canvas. You can do whatever you want on it. Yes. So that was really fun. I enjoyed that so much. So I'm still working on sock number two. These are so good. Um, but I See, thought maybe that's a good an idea for somebody else. Maybe that's really good at embroidery. You could really go to town. I love it. Yeah. So much. Thanks. I love this color. Like I'm obs. I could easily knit a sweater in these colors. It's really a special. Or a shawl. Color. Yeah. Right? I could imagine the baubles in like, the in this. this color. Yes. It's a very I love it. So thank you, Alicia. Ten out of ten. I love it. It is a kit. We'll show it to you. It's not a kit with the pattern. It's a kit that you can get the yarn or just the yarn by itself. I would be happy to make a little chart. I don't know. I don't know. I literally just winged it. I just started that at the bottom. That would be a good class. Tracy, I think, would be an amazing teacher. That's so funny. And duplicate stitch, how great would a class of that be? And okay. all the fun things you can do to your knitting. Right. So I think I, there must be that class already. There must be. Well, there's other, more than one people teach shawl knitting. Right. Like, you could put so your own I, spin. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to do my pattern, the actual, like, write it out yes. with a chart, and I will make a video for how I do it and put it up. Love it. And that that will be coming, I hope, really soon because now I've got all this time. Can I just say, last time we did this, I looked at a picture of myself later and thought, you look as exhausted as you were. Like, I felt oh. so tired. Uh, Garden, I feel like yeah. myself today. So well, we were, I felt really tired last time. We ju you had just come off the busiest weekend ever. But there's people that live like that all the Good time. Good morning, Gay. Good morning, Gay. Were you like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> Did you not look in the mirror before we started? I was like, I looked at a picture and I thought, like you're sagging and you're like, <laughs> like everything about me was like exhausted. Yeah. Uh, oh, somebody's phoning me from Toronto. What? I am busy. I'm podcasting. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, okay. anyway, loved it. Speaking of baubles, yeah, we just said bobble a few minutes ago. Love a bobble. This is called the Andy sweater, and it's by Joanna Gerish. 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 Oh, that's super cute. Boy, everybody's knitting in pale yellow yarn, Joe. <laughs> Everyone's got the same color, but I just thought you guys, Andy, this is brandy. Why, Andy sweater? Like our Andy dad. Y. Yeah. Um. I'm crazy about a V-neck. I think the arms are beautiful on this. This no decreases, I'm guessing, or very little. This is mohair held double. And the pom poms or the baubles on this. So this whole sweater is mohair held double. Is it? It looks like it. It's a V-neck, it's top down. Five balls of silk mohair in five different colors. Oh, that's for the baubles. It says lace plus lace equals sport. Yeah. I think it's all in mohair. Do you guys ever see the Instagram ads for that hobby yarn, H-O-B-B-I-I? -I? No. I wish, I hope I do now that we said it. Yeah. Look at the ends in there. That would be a labor of love. That would be worth it for me. Totally worth it for me to weave in my ends on those bobble. To Never get that in a sweater. million years. Jody. You know what I would do though? I would tie knots and not weave them in. Well, that's great. Yeah. No one would know. Uh, isn't that adorable, though? She did such a cute version with all the multicolors. Yeah. So the Andy sweater. I thought that was so fun. Oh, I love it. Okay, it's and really cute. And as a cute. short sleeved, you guys. How about as, like, even a vesty kind of thing? Like, <gasps> yes. Right? Yes. So Hobby Yarn Carson said he's she's, she's ordered. Is it an Asian company? I don't know. Carson, question mark. Does it come from... Why? Um, why do you ask? Like, do I don't you worry it would take a long time to get here. No, but I just thought it was yarn produced overseas, and I could be wrong. Oh, it's Danish. Okay. Oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm on it. You'll get an hobby ad now. yarn. Everyone's gonna get oh, hobby yarn. Look, you guys got have like so much choices. Look, they've got all these cakes, like rainbow cakes. Yeah. Um. Okay. Speaking of Instagram ads. What did you order? 
I bought Ruggable. Does anybody, you must, am I, I'm no, sure. No, I every, ordered one. Did you? Yes. Did you get it yet? No, I ordered it before. And what did you think? I hated it. No, I'm Why? just kidding. I don't hate it. The dog barfed on it. Jody, the and I washed it. Washable. Yes, I know. And it didn't work. Let me tell you. No, it did work. It's awesome. I would buy it again. Well, no. I feel like you're holding no, something back. I swear, I would order it again. I ordered way too small. I ordered oh, it for the front door, okay. and it was way too small. I needed to get something bigger. Okay. I would order it ten times again. I have to say, not all Instagram ad purchases for me are success. I ordered. This horrible travel um, toiletry case. It was, was total, it horrible. Oh, it was junk. Like it was so bad. But this ruggable, I ordered one for the front door and I ordered a runner for in my kitchen. And one had the regular under pad and one had the really cushy one. Um, and then you, here's I always buy our rugs at like Winners or whatever Home Sense or whatever. But I just feel like they wear out yeah. and most of them are not washable. And I agree. We're a, you know, a busy house with two dogs and things get messy. So I decided to try these stupid ruggable things. They have so many, so many different styles. So I thought, whatever, I'm going to try Tell it. us the premise of what a ruggable is. So ruggable is, it's actually like a mat. It's a, go to their website. There's like videos and stuff, but it's a washable and it, it's kind of thin, but it sticks to an under pad. Yes. It's almost like Velcro where it sticks to the under pad, but you can peel it off the under pad and throw that in your washing machine. Yes. So to me, the real test is going to be, what's it like after I wash it? How long is it going to last? But then if I feel like I'm over a certain pattern. Hey, needles at the ready. Hey, I feel like if I'm over a certain pattern, you just peel it off and buy a new thing and you've still got the... 10 out of 10, you guys. I, so far, I have not washed it, but I really like, I, I like it so far. So everyone's- Not cheap. It's not cheap, but you're not investing in a, like a big, like, no, it's not a Walmart rug that you're gonna have at your front door. Yeah. I have those at my front door. Sure. It's a little bit pricey-er, but you guys, it's gonna last for a really long time. I just thought too, the, the flexibility of being able to wash it, and it seems pretty durable. Yeah. And all of those pattern choices and all of these weird sizes, like circle rug, like yeah. indoor, outdoor. Anyway, um, you choose your under mat. I have to say, I feel like this is going to be a thumbs up thing. I agree. Instagram ads. I agree. So, I love it. Okay. Do you have any more knitting? I do not have more knitting because I finished my sweater and then I yes. knit these socks. Of course. What else have I been doing for two weeks? Yeah. That's I should have I a thought. ton of knitting. Here comes garbage. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is called the Layla Bralette. How beautiful is she? Gorgeous. This is by, by Joan Ho. And it's just so fun. It's gorgeous. It's a small project. Right? Say another single skein project. Yeah, I just think this is so pretty. That is super cute. And you know, I think really popular. Jessie yeah. May has some beautiful, there's there's other bralette, yeah. tanky kind of patterns, and I think they're super popular, especially this time of year. Yeah. She looks stunning. Here comes, doesn't she? she? Stunning. Gorgeous. Beautiful. And it looks like her bust is quite big compared to, um, there was another couple of options that other uh, smaller bust size. She knit the perfect size for her body. Yes. It, it looked amazing on both. Hey, garbage truck. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I just thought that was gorgeous. I love her hair. I love those eyelets. Yeah. No, they're not eyelets. It's drops. Is it a drop stitch? It looks no, it's like an eyelet. Covers. It is eyelets. I just thought that's so it's cute. It's beautiful, Jody. It's yeah. beautiful. I mean, how fun to be able to just. I use actually those think even for us, we may not want to wear it on its own. Okay, but not you can wear it not. for a bra. But you could. How about for sure not. But that doesn't mean that we couldn't knit it and wear it under something where you're open on top and you can yes. see that. Yes. Yes. Right? Like a button-up shirt That's or something. That's what kind. all the young folks are doing. Right? Like Maddie. I feel a hundred. Tracy. I said something to Georgia the other day. Well, back in the old days, I said. I said, back in the old days. I said something the other day. I said, well, now I'm my mother. Well, and Jeff said something about, I said, oh, Ariana Grande is going to be on The Voice next season. I'm so excited. And he said... Oh, I saw an interview with her and she is, I don't know that that's going to work. And I said, 
Do you think she cares? You're 55 old year old old man. You are not the demographic. She just got married. She's going for it. I said you were gonna love her. They always yeah. have great cars and kids today. They always have great um I forget what I said. Coaches that I'm like, I'm We got my distracted mother. by boobs and old people. Um yeah, I think this is. So that we could wear that underneath something. Obviously, you don't need to wear something underneath it, but these things bouncing around in that is not going to be pretty. But I think you can make it work for every body type, I and do I too. think that's yeah, that's true. Anyway, she was beautiful. It caught my eye. This picture is gorgeous. Joan Ho. She it's looks beautiful. amazing. She looks amazing. Yeah. Is that her? I think it might be her, but I'm not going to say that for sure. Okay. Um, I did print a bunch of patterny things, but we did also did. Your dog eat that. No, I just ripped. I don't know what happened. It got stuck under something. Um, but the, the color is good. It doesn't matter. If Yours it's don't have rips, but no. what the heck is going on with those? Okay, we had amazing party in our mailbox today, this you week. Guys. And let's start with two books that came from people and companies that we absolutely love. Okay. Um, they're incredible. The first one are the ladies at Love Lina Magazine. Actually, Lina Publishing, because they publish books, not just their yes. magazine now. This is their 52 Weeks of Shawls. I can't even how beautiful did this book is. Did you thumb through it? I did. And you know what? We actually have, when I was at the Fiber Nook, there is a local Edmonton designer in this book. There don't is. ask me which shawl it is. Okay. Because I don't know. But... There are 52 shawls, so 52 wow. pa beautiful patterns. Oh my gosh, some of them are really, really, I mean, they're all really tempting, but some of them I think, ooh, I would love to wear that. So just flipping through and seeing some of the shawls, you guys, they're works of art. The photography is incredible, <gasps> as always. Everything oh. with Lina, the photography is yeah. amazing. Um, this book is hardcover. It's got oh, a linen that. that your thumb is finished. I know. There are what? 52 featured patterns and designers. She is exuding joy. Let me tell you. The pictures of these beautiful models. Yeah. Um, it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look, you guys. Okay, so the styling, the feel, the photography, the 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 quality of um, supplies that they use when they publish, Lina Publishing, the papers amazing. is a step above. The the charts are beautiful. Yeah. Um, there's actually smaller pieces in here, like there is a little bandana style cowl like that. So they're not all huge yeah. shawls. There is this beautiful cabled smaller piece. Um, For me, this would be a coffee table book. It is. But think about the cost of 52 patterns. Yeah. For and, about the same amount of money. And right? then. Or is it more? No, it's, it's about, way less. Well, I thought it was about 50. No? How much? No, but that's what I mean. Like oh, if you yes. were buying 52 patterns, individually published patterns at, say, $8. So if you think about it, you're about a dollar, just over a dollar a pattern. Well, somewhere in that range. Right? Look I wanted that. to share this one. This That's is so Aaron Jensen. Who... That's the model or the, no, the designer? No, the designer is Aaron Jensen, who I follow on Instagram. And she's got other patterns. Um, anyway, there's lots of names in here that are I'm like, oh, I'm so happy to see them in here. And there's, so here's a beautiful cowl. So there's not all gigantic projects, which is really nice, right? So you've got some mm -hmm. things that you could make quickly if you wanted to make gifts, but everything is just... Did you see how naturally beautiful the model is that you were showing? Which one? Her. I know, Jody. Like, I don't know that, she, that she's got a stitch of makeup on. Maybe not. <gasps> oh! Like, she is stunning. Like, her skin is flawless. She's glowing, really. Yeah. Okay, I want to make this. Anyway, I just It's wanna... a dicky. It is. But like mohair soft one. Oh, it's so beautiful. And let me tell you, that is a great piece for not super bulky under your Hashtag coat. let's bring the dicky back. Hashtag everyone needs a dicky. <laughs> uh, a nice... Soft. Don't stop. Dicky. <laughs> um, a long dicky. Like, make sure your dicky's long enough to cover so it's warm. 
I can't. I just can't. And there's this little beautiful. Right. So there's everything from giant, yeah. giant shawls where you think, oh, I'm learning a new skill like mosaic color work or I'm challenging myself with brioche and lace. <gasps> that. There's literally everything. So if you have been thinking about, geez, you know, I look at this hardcover book and it's, it's more than I think I want to. This is an investment book. You're getting amazing value right and in for your library so i want to thank yona and Cindy of lina magazine for sending these as giveaways yes. we are so grateful so we're going to be sending these out we'll do giveaway gay you need a dicky an orange one fuzzy orange orange and fuzzy big one yeah um but these books are beautiful. And of course they have the 52 Weeks of Socks, yes. which came out last year and is just as gorgeous. Yeah. You may see this at your local yarn shop. That would be an amazing way to support your local yarn shop. Um, and there are more books coming. Like they're, they're now publishing many books. Vera Valamaki has her own book about to be published. I don't know when, but I've, it's not far from now. It's amazing. I'm totally already got that one earmarked that I want. Yeah. Vera's book so I mean I said it's a step above I mean it's I mean we love pom-pom just as much they're right it's ama they're all quality amazing publications this is different than the magazine this is yes. like a coffee table book you can have this out or it's just a piece for your library that's what I mean by a step special. above it's like a special coffee and table and 52 is a lot of patterns yes so it's just more of a magazine yes. right so that's it's like and four I, or five magazines all put together, yes. but it's also um, content Ooh, specific. I love that. Jody. There is, there is so much different things represented in this book. There is something for everybody in this book. So if you are a shawl lover, I feel like this is something you, you so definitely want to have in your library. And I don't know what the retail price is. It's but I round. know for 52 patterns and the quality of this book that you have, that it is, it is yeah. worth, I worth agree. it. So it's more about, I love it. Look at that, the wrap. I love that. And like the outside is a linen a fabric finish on the yeah. outside of the book. And I mean, you've it's, got your ribbon bookmarks. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. 52 weeks of shawls. Yeah. Just beautiful. Anyway, thank you, ladies. And we'll make an awesome giveaway. Do we want to do that this week? Oh, my God. There's two bugs mating. How do you know that's what they're doing? Well, there's a head at both ends. Oh, my God. Those are the ones that are bugging my plant. Maybe she, it's like a Thank colony. you, Hillary. Hillary has seen it between 48 and 55 U.S. Right. So a buck. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we are going to be thrilled to give a couple away. How about should we do that this week? Yes, let's do that. We'll this do week. that this week. Okay, yeah. I actually have winners from last week. What? I don't know what happened yesterday, but I got very organized, Jody. Well, you finally now have settled. Garden shop is wrapped up. Okay, ready? Yeah. We have one winner. If you last week we had the thread and make ma thread and maple makers folio, that amazing leather folio. Yes. If you are Homestead Knit C A. We will be messaging you on Ravelry. You are the winner. And we will send that out DHL. So you get it really, really fast. Um, congratulations. And yeah. thank you to Thread and Maple. Yeah. You know what else I have to remind us of? Um, the two giveaways for the Espastri Co. I kits. have that here too. Awesome. So if you give me the name. It's so rare to not hold back from people. Yeah. Hear back from people. No, Jody, I haven't heard back. Oh, well, let's give them. Let's leave it for next time. We'll redraw. I think, so I've messaged them again this week. If I don't hear from them this week, we have to redraw. Those beautiful bijou wrap kits yes. from Espace Tricot have not yeah, gone I have to their homes ready yet. ready to ship. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, if you, I'll, I'll put, you. Jody. hello. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Um, okay. We had two threaded maple giveaways. The one was the self-striping scrum scrumptious pearl yarn and the awesome confetti cork bag. That's gonna go to Lynn's Nell. Woo -woo. I wonder if anybody's in here won any of our winners. I wonder if, so if you know her, message her, yeah. text her. We will message you on Ravelry and get your info. Tracy always ear burns in Ravelry, cause that's where you. And these are the winners of the Bijou Wrap. 
So the Sienna one is going to go to J Steven 17 and MK Trip got the Jasper one. You guys, if you would like these um, yarn kits, we would love to hear back from you. you can get you your yarn ASAP. Yeah. If not, we have to send them out. So next we'll time. Find, we'll draw, happy to draw another name, but I don't want people to miss out if, you know, yeah. we really have uh, very rarely had to do that. Yeah. So Thread and Maple are amazing. And Espastrico, thank you. You're amazing. So, so generous. Yeah. To Love send it. these out. These are both amazing. So yeah, maybe our giveaway this week, we will put up the 52 weeks of shawls and I we'll be it. able to have two winners for that next time. Because we have two to give away. We do. Nice. Yeah. Um, so what else is on your list? Uh, there is something fun with the fiber company, the yarn company, the fiber co. Oh, they have decided that June is their month of socks and they're going to be running a knit along. And they actually have, I think the pattern is free. It's called One Sock, and it's written by Kate Atherley. Yes. Hello, it's gonna be an amazing pattern. And it's got like 11 sizes from baby to big. And- For socks? Yeah. Oh. And so you could either knit that pattern to join in the knit along or any pattern in their Amble new sock yarn. And I kind of talked about it last time because I bought two skeins from the Fiber Nook. Okay. But fiber company were so cool and they sent us three skeins to give away okay that is amazing it is a totally different sock base i'm very excited i will definitely be knitting knitting with it it is a merino alpaca <gasps> recycled guys, it's nylon so soft it is it's made super wash by a earth friendlier earth process oh no i like the chemical process so myself. right but it is it it's it says fingering weight but it's 325 meters i feel like sporty it leans sport yeah weight to me but they say fingering um i'm dying to knit with it i think it would be amazing sweater for sure is there a bug on there at first glance it kind of looks non-superwash what is that it's just a whole oh, like it just a at first glance it kind of looks um, non superwash, but then when you touch it, it's you guys, so soft with the alpaca. Wow, I am dying, dying to knit with this. So it's called a conscious blend of washable merino, alpaca, and recycled nylon. The colors that come that it comes in are amazing. That's beautiful. There's a beautiful yellow and a red. I would buy that. Yeah, I would put those two together the blue and the green. See, and this is the first color I bought, and it's kind of like. Tracy, I don't know what you it, call it. Put those three together. Oh. Without the green. Without the green. Actually, with all of them. I was going to say that you could make, like, what a sweater would be amazing. This has a little touch of the blue and the orange through it. It's really pretty. Wow. It's really pretty. So you can check out the Fiber Nook, or sorry, the Fiber Co. on Instagram. Yeah. They have a Zoom launch party thing happening on Tuesday, June 1st with Kate Atherley. Um, and there's prizes for the knit along, but... The way this yarn feels, like if your local yarn shop has it, or you can grab a skein, I'm really excited to knit with something a little bit different. And that was sent? Three of those skeins were sent. That's so nice. Yeah, so nice. Okay, so I'm going to show what we got sent from Yarnbirds. Yay! Um, she's a generous friend of the podcast yes. and thought that we would love to see. Um, she's in Columbus, Ohio. Okay, so I couldn't be more wrong. Yeah. Is she in Alberta? Not even close. Okay, Jody, this color is this. crazy. This is 29 Bridges. I've heard of 29 Bridges. Okay, I had not. I had not seen the yarn in person, though. She's Mary Heron, and she's an indie dyer in Maryland. That's beautiful. She doesn't recall the meaning of 29 Bridges. Maybe 29 Bridges on Route 29. I don't know. <laughs> um, she's as prepared as we are. <laughs> Maybe she's 29 forever, like us. She says she's a beautiful dyer, a lovely person, and just enjoy working with her so much. You guys, this is incredible. Jody's beautiful. Like, beautiful. The color. Oh, is that mohair or Surrey? Surrey? Surrey silk and um, a sock base. 7525, and the colorway is patina. Jody, I think you should make a hat with that. Hold the fingering double with a Surrey. Is that not amazing? Yes. They're for giveaway. Okay. I would rather well, give anyone, away. anyone. Yes. It's going to be amazing. But you could make a really oh. cool shawl with one skein of the sock and the Surrey in between look at that bluish background you guys that's my colors it's 
Okay, but she went really vivid with that speckle and like the color is very beautiful. Perfect robin's egg blue. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to maybe buy something. Jode, it's, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, what? so let's tell people this colorway is called patina. Both are patina. If you're looking for this exact color, pati yeah. patina. Okay, Ash and Bumble. Never heard of them. Ashley Lane from Indianapolis, Indiana. She's a young, new dyer, less than two years. Look she's pretty. She, and um, yarn birds predict she's gonna skyrocket because she's amazing. This is an 80-20 and it's yeah. very squishy. Yeah. This one's called Anna's Hummingbird. And it, I think her colors are inspired by birds. Yeah. It says the brilliance of birds. Or maybe that's a line. Oh, she does a monthly botanical garden club and a brilliance of birds club okay. and much more. Well, that's yeah. what this is. So she does some clubs. She's amazing. Her color sense is beautiful. And thank you for sharing. That's going to be yeah. um, gorgeous. Whatever yeah. you choose to make with that. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Like a socks or a hat or a cowl. Yeah. Gosh, I love it. So thank you for sharing. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that's, that's so, so sweet. Actually, you know what's weird? This is so funny. This is how much my memory is failing. <laughs> um, I got a email notification that my Yarnbirds order had shipped. Well, clearly, because I've ordered from Yarnbirds, she just went back in and just, you can she in the back and regenerate yeah. an order. And I'm thinking... Oh, I was thinking, oh, my order shipped. And then I thought, what did I order? Right. I didn't. Thank you for making like, me I think I was going crazy. Like, I need an intervention because I don't remember actually ordering that. Yes. That's yes. funny. Um, so the ladies at Pom Pom, who we love. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute. Anything that pom comes from Pom Pom comes wrapped. Yeah. And every month the wrapper's different. Feels like you're ordering a gift. It is. So the ladies are sharing their newest... I haven't edition. Seen this. Me either. You're going to be able to find this in our shop because we are now, we carry books, people. It's right on the way, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So this is the newest. And speaking of birds, this is book is inspired by birds. Look at the cover. Stop it. Picture. I didn't even open it before you got here because I wanted to it open it on so live. It is so beautiful. Oh, the models. Wow. She is stunning and I yeah. love her t shirt. I love what she's wearing. So Pom Pom, again, just like Lina, is full of the best, most beautiful photography. Look, a tank. So this is summer knits. Love it. But if you live somewhere warm all the time, this would be the most perfect collection for you to have just because it's warm where you live. Right? Maybe. Um, and it's not just patterns like we've said before. There's always reading material. There's articles. Yeah. Um, it's not always knitting either. And the, even the ads are just beautiful. Yeah. So you'll find lots of ads from your favorite local yarn shops all over the world. <gasps> That's cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. It okay, so I could wet. totally. Crazy. Look at that. And, but look at the side, you guys. It's got color down the side, but then look at the stripes. Okay, sleeve. stripes always. And black and white stripes, you guys. That is really fun. Spri stripes and polka dots usually. Oh, oh that's pretty. Look at this beautiful lace soul bird. Ladies, look at the models. So gorgeous. That's the cover model. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is gorgeous. And can I just say thank you um, for the diverse yep. photographs and models and body shapes and body sizes. I think I pom pom has always been always. That way. But you know, like I see me. And my size in mm -hmm. patterns now. And it's ref it's refreshing. I totally agree. Okay, That's this gorgeous. This is like. That this, I can see you This Tracy. is something that I. It's like the most elegant sweatshirt. I, this, right? This is screaming you. Like it's cash and garter stitch sleeves. With a yes. little bit of a stitching. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. And it's knit in Durerum Natura Penelope. So Durerum Natura. That's yarn that... I don't know what that is. It's a brand, a yarn brand, but people love it. Do they? Yes. We should maybe try some. Yeah, we should. Oh, Ooh, they have socks in pretty. here. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Anyway, if you guys are going to see Pom Pom at your local yarn shop, wow. She looks... Oh, look at her smile. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So this is the newest pom-pom. It is inspired by birds. It's their summer 2021. 
and it is stunning. Stunning. Yeah, gorgeous. Tank tops, lightweight sweaters. Wow, look at that. So beautiful. Just what we need. We need to cast on those light and airy projects. We and they knit up so fast. Yeah. A yeah, tank top is do. like half a sweater. Yeah. When you're not knitting sleeves, you know, when it's I agree. shorter and you're not knitting sleeves. And there's the beautiful bird on the back, isn't that? And we don't always want to be carrying heavier wool and projects on us when it's warmer weather. Get those cottons and linens and blends out. I totally agree, Jody. Yeah. And there is a shawl in here somewhere too, but I think I might have missed it. Because let me tell you, once you have, if you think I'm in a hotter climate, I only wear sweaters in the fall and the winter, once you get one garment that's short sleeved in a lighter fabric, yeah. you're going to be hooked. Totally. There's the shawl. That's beautiful. It's an interesting shape. It's got pointed ends and a big, long, rectangular section. Super easy to wear. That's beautiful. Right? Wrap yeah. it around like a scarf kind of thing. I love it. So thank you, Pom Pom ladies. We will make sure this goes to a good home. Yeah. Um, in, in one of our beautiful prizes that we love. I have to say, there's not a lot of May finished objects in our sock bash right now. So finish your socks and get them in, you guys, because your chances of, you know, winning something are yeah. good. It's it's not, for some reason, maybe people are just busy in May and we didn't have as yeah. many. Don't forget, I mean, we, we don't always talk about our knit-alongs, but there's always knit-alongs in the group. Well, right now it's the Comfort Fade Cardi and the Sock Bash, which yeah. is every month. Um, and typically there's about 400 people every month that put in socks love that it's been up to a thousand at one point so maybe because we don't talk about as much you guys we have a sock knit along for every month of the year yeah there's w for three years in a row right so if you're new maybe to more. watching go check out our sock bash it's knitting a pair of socks it's a very loose theme like we'll say stripes one month but you or... don't even have to do that you only there's a theme provided if you want to enter twice. Otherwise, knit whatever you want in fingering weight yarn and adult exactly. size Exactly. That's it. We always send out amazing prizes. But we just try and um, give this theme just for something a little bit fun. Because a lot of people like to knit it every month. Yeah. Which is so cool. By the end of the year, they've got this 12 gorgeous new pairs of socks. Um, and I think it's November that we do a DK. We're allowed DK socks for gifts. So otherwise it's fingering weight yarn. And you can do two pairs of shorties or just a regular pair of adult socks. So I wonder if we should flexibility. Do, I wonder if we should add DKs. Knit a sock. Just I don't care. socks. I mean ultimately I don't care. Whatever weight, socks, whatever they are. We can change we can change it to DK. Adding DK as a sock. Okay, so starting in June, which is next week, we will allow DK yes, I'm gonna enter. And fingering. Jody, I expect you to now participate in the knit along. Um yeah, there's always, and it's a little late for now, but if you've entered every month, it's a giant grand prize at the end. We didn't do that wins. this year. Oh, damn. Because we did that giant uh, favorite things giveaway. Yes, you're And right. then, the, so, but we can certainly do it next no. year. No, hey. you ruined it. <laughs> okay, I have two more patterns to share in the meantime okay. because I think they're hilarious. Okay. This one, you guys, I will be knitting. Okay. Jody. I can't it's even. It's a granny square. Okay, so let me tell you about this pattern. It's a granny square pillow with cat appliques. What? So you knit the granny, or you crochet the granny square and you attach it together like the pillow. And then these cats are little appliques that you do separately. In so do you crochet the cat separately? And then you just whip and tack stitch it, it on. on? Yes. That is super cute. This is not a great picture because my ink was running out. It's so colorful. I feel like I need this pattern, this, this pillow. I think you should do that for yourself. And I think you should make one more for your friend. Even a little... It's a crazy cat Even, pillow. you know what would be so cute? A little, little like, two row this way, like a long... What about Brady Bunch? Yes. Like, you could do a border that's, you know, your yes. two colors, and then, like, the nine patch in the middle that's, like, Brady Bunch kitties. This? I just, that's super cute. I gasped. That is adorable. It's but called... you could do it either way. Any way you want. Yeah. Many cats square. Oh, that's so cute. That and I so bet cute. you, so much fun to make. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of so much fun and knit-alongs and all that stuff, we've been sharing this super cute, adorable, it's not only a fun pattern, uh, it is a fundraiser. 
So this is the Larry Air headband. It's so cute. You don't even need a whole mini skein. No. You don't need a whole mini skein to I get yourself this. this little headband. And it's by Sunny Co. It just came out last week. And the funds raised all the proceeds from the pattern until the end of June are going to one of her local um, LGBTQ community centers. So it is a fundraiser and all that info is on her Ravelry page. And I know there's one other element to that. So read all about it, but I totally got my pattern and the Instagram, it's the knit alongs happening on Instagram. Super fun. Love it. So cute. I saw there was like some striped ones. They're adorable. Um, but it this is, is really so, cute. So super cute. And if you don't like, just for a suggestion, if you don't like it looking so much like like a bow, but you can thing, also tie it on your neck. Yes, you can tie it on your neck, but you can also tack down the the ends so it's not floppy. It's adorable. It actually is great. So this little this little part is a loop that you Separate. crochet to. Yeah, yeah, it's so cute, and it's um, Shit's Creek inspired. So it's super duper duper cute, and I think. First of all, it's a great thing to support. I do. With I her love fundraising. That. that is very generous of her. And it's just fun. Like, it's just adorable and fun. I'm totally good. She's I it. think knitting one with mohair, like, you know, like that. Yes. Or with, like, sparkly yarn, like yes. Amanda, the Crafty Jackalope. And it would just be a super cute knitted thing to have. She's calling it beginner and customizable. Mm -hmm. So you can just make it whatever you want. You don't yeah. have to put the bow on it. Right. Right? You, you can do it do, yourself. You can do whatever you want. But it would be really fun to see tons of projects on Ravelry for her yeah. for her pattern. But uh, we'll link it in the show notes. Um, and if you would love to support her, I think that would be a great thing to do. Yeah. A nice pride fundraiser. Love it. Yeah. Anything okay. else? I have one more pattern to show. And then I've just got my yarn and stuff. Okay. I do have some yarn that I bought that I want to share, but I also Show that. I also bought myself a purse. You did. Well, not really. This was a Mother's Day present, but I did do the transaction because, you know, whatever. But I bought myself, you guys. It's more amazing in person. Stop it. Yeah. This is, you know how much oh. we love Hohe and Co. Um, and I, you know, collect and love everything. I couldn't recommend. And we talk about amazing customer service. Yeah. That is a great company yeah. too. Amazing company to support. So they're um, ha like, these are all made in workshops in Argentina with Argentine leather. Um, of course we'll link it again, but this is the waxed suede. I haven't felt that wax suede yet. So I've never had wax suede anything, but I assume it makes it a little bit more durable. Cause I am like, I just throw stuff around. Yeah. And suede never looks good for me for very long. Yeah. So this is the brown. I don't know what they call it, but it's got this like toffee almost. It's such a good brown. Like I feel put so together. Good. I've been using this in the last week, going to the Home Depot to get plants, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh wow. You need to go somewhere today. I know. I nowhere. How about that? I've got these little peaks here. Anyway, so this showed up, and everything comes super fast because the whole DHL use DHL, but it's gigantic. It's gigantic. It's just oh a big God. pouch. It does have this little pocket in here. Um, and you can draw string it both ways. You can make long straps or short straps. And it just wears and gets more beautiful I with think age. So. Yeah. I think this is going to be something that will just weather and be That's really, really cool. Beautiful. I didn't buy it for a knitting bag, but it will hold whatever Tons. you want to knit. Yeah. Right? So I just think it's really great. I love it. It's uh, It's been beautiful. God, that's gorgeous. And then when the order came, there was a surprise, some surprise stowaway gifts. There was? So you, I've peeked. I want you to see. And I okay. think if you guys go to the Hohe & Co. Instagram, you <gasps> might be seeing these this week. Oh, God. This is a brand new pouch style by Hohe & Co. Half suede half pebble leather it's so nice you're kidding no and it's going to come in two sizes because it's got a heavy metal zipper and it's got the matching leather pull i don't and think they've put it on their instagram and it's yet. got a little are we supposed to allow to show it yes we're allowed oh, to show I it's asked. got a little hardware loop out of the same leather so it's very well thought out leather 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 matching totally and and just like 
soft. It's beautiful. It's great for whacking wasps. Um, okay, what do you think about that? Whoa, this is like electric blue. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is the blue hammered le or pebbled leather that they have. And the zipper's blue. Yes, you guys. So this will come in two sizes. Like this is the smaller size. And then you can get a little, there's a clip handle. Like you could clip them together or just use it as a wristlet. It's actually the perfect size. This is where my brain goes for like a yarn festival. All you need is like your phone and your lip gloss and your card or your whatever, the, how you pay for your stuff. And you could have a little wristlet and just yeah. have it with you. This is such a versatile size. This could hold your tampons in your purse. I don't need those. Oh yeah, I don't either. <laughs> You know what? The That's last couple TMI. of my, the couple of, I um, will put something okay. else in here. It's going to have your lip gloss for your per your toiletries in your purse. It's got your notions for your knitting. It's it totally can it's be your notions for a your knitting. little take along with just a few things. You got look at this, Jody. It's super cute. I could put my fan for my menopause hot flashes. There you go. So I don't need the other things, but uh, Amber, look at this. We have a podcast. <laughs> Uh, anyway, aren't they beautiful? So this is a brand new item. I don't even know what it's called. So keep your eyes peeled. Because Thank you, Hohe and Co. It's I amazing. Do, I do think it might be in their update tomorrow. You guys. And you guys better stand back and save me. I've already, you guys. What do you I want? have a problem. Don't tell them what you want. I'm just kidding. What do you want? Are you going to order something? <laughs> I, <sighs> okay. <laughs> They make such beautiful, unique designs. And I am such a bag. Sharon, I think it's handbag person. Yeah, you are. Um, they've all... designed this new, it's called a Campo tote. All I ask is that you guys save me one, for goodness <laughs> sakes. But that's it where the ends are out. Yeah. But it, it. No. So it kind of pops in. Like to me, it's like it's a handbag. Oh, Tracy, it's beautiful. What the heck? I'm. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's very, very Is that the elegant. one you want? The natural color? What color Probably. are you looking for? Yeah. I'm not going to buy any because I have a birthday coming up. So maybe I'll send my husband the link and I'll let's see if he can do it. If I if you want the bag, you better do it yourself and tell Jeff so you bought right. it. I don't, I what know. are you? Yeah, and you, you guys, it, it's so beautiful. It's so I just think it's so beautiful. Yes, all the colors that she. So there's this um, beautiful. I love the brown. Classic, beautiful, yes. and I think it ages really well. But I also love this Blonde. this color. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I just, because it, you don't have one. Like I was that. gonna say you can justify it. Like oh, I don't have that color. Yeah. I don't yeah. have that color. Yeah, love get it. the bag. Thank you, Noni Maloney. Said Stop get the bag. it! Oh my gosh, how are you, Nikki? Mwah. Anyway, and for the camo lovers, and who doesn't love camo? That's coming tomorrow. It is not. It is so. I anyway, might have to get that. Joe, it's so good. Oh my god! And it's got like khaki hammered leather on the bottom, kind of an olive color. Set your alarms, you guys, or just go to the shop and see what they've got. It's such a beautiful I, I want company. that camel one, but okay. I don't. I, yeah. I'll buy it for you for your birthday. Don't buy it. Okay, I won't buy it. Okay. I promise. And act surprised. Okay. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, good. Because you know what? We talked about this shape, you guys. What shape is that? That's the forage bag. So that is, I would say, the next size up from the Pampa. It's got a bit of, it's got a square bottom. It's more open. Yes. I it's a little bit it. more open and it I is square. So Pampa is round. It is an amazing shape. You're right, Jode. I mean, you're right, Jode. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're just so supportive of each other. Do it. Get the bag. Do it. Get the bag. Um, the Llama Love Beanie. Oh my gosh. That's Could adorable. Could you even believe how cute that is? Okay. That is ridiculous. It's thicker yarn. It's going to do... It's like worsted or Aran. It's going to be really quick. And scrappy. Yes. You would not need much yarn to do that. I don't know if you guys can see, and on her Instagram, this is a pinky version. But look at the llamas. So cute. I adore this hat. Just before all your ink ran out. That's a good picture. Yes. <laughs> that's the one that It did say ink was low. Oh, they weren't kidding. Jody. that's super cute. 
Super cute. Okay, so we'll link that one for sure. Llama love. Who doesn't love a good color work? Okay, I have never, well, that's not true. I knit one blanket for mom years ago for Mother's Day. Yeah. I started the whole scrappy little cozy memories thing and I was a quitter. It didn't stick for me, but I saw Tin Can Knits yes. made the lullaby blanket. This is crazy. I was actually just perusing their blanket patterns because I thought I want to knit a blanket. They yeah. have so many good blankets. And then this one came out. Talk about your advent minis. Per okay, you guys, this pattern is written in all the weights of yarn and three different sizes so you can hold scraps together you can have tin can is so good. you can have some rows that are dk and then some rows you're Love holding it. minis double yeah. um that's what is, my granny's squares are right so make it your own you can make it an ombre planned out gradient yes. you can make it kind of scrappy but it's got feather and fan lace that you're makes, crazy oh my it. gosh i love it i love that look so this is lullaby by tin can knits and i feel like all of the blanket knitters already know about this but you could knit it in dk or bulky it would be such a cool gift my our mom loves the blanket that i knit like she because, still uses it all yeah. the time let me see, let if i'm on the couch i've got to throw on my legs totally right anyway i looked at the pattern uh and i'm definitely going to i have a lot of single skeins yes yeah. I'm really excited to knit that. I'm definitely gonna knit a blanket. I think you need to buy yarn. You might not have enough. Jody, I'm I'm low. Okay. Don't judge me. So, okay, okay. Jody is a is a spinner. So Tracy and I have always always admired loop bumps. Remember when we went to Rhinebeck and the booth was like crazy? Yes, I had the nicest conversation with a girl there. She was a spinner and. We were just talking about, she was an actual spinner, I am not. And I thought to myself, I will one day get one of these bumps. They're art. I have zero intention of buying a spinning apparatus. I will never knit it. It will sit on my shelf because it's beautiful. And look gorgeous. Look, it's like got black or dark gray in between each round. Jody, it is rainbow. If you spun that yarn, you would get rainbow yarn. Maybe it is amazing. Maybe someone would spin it. She... <laughs> Steph, who is a friend of the podcast, yes. she sent us beautiful yarn. She's got that plied. She's got the yin and yang yarn. Yes. Which is crazy amazing. And I still, in my brain, want a sweater in that. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. She's got really incredible stuff. So when we went to Rhinebeck, that was the thing. People were like, I have to get a loop bump. Yeah. Or whatever they're called. Isn't, yeah. that, isn't that what it's called? Yes. Good. Okay, so I'm just, she just wrote a note on here. Please enjoy the extra. Wow. I don't know what that was. You'll have to, maybe you'll find it in your office at home. I'm embarrassed. Nancy, I'm not going to spin. And don't try and coax me. Um, maybe one day when I'm old That's and gray, beautiful. I'm not worried. Old, I'm who, who I'm already old and gray. Older, maybe when I'm not working so much, right. maybe it's something I would dabble. Sure, and I mean maybe if yes, because I do love every aspect of like animal to to garment. You're wearing super it. crafty, Joe. You should never say never. I totally believe. Right. I did say I would never knit a sweater. Right. That is adorable. You guys, Tracy, it's got sparkle. She's so talented. You see the oh yes, I do. Barely there sparkle. See, spinners are looking at that going, she is insane that she's never going to spin that. But I don't think we'll never say never. It will get maybe. Do you think I should pay someone to spin this? I think if you would want it as de decoration, you should have it as decoration. But I could buy another one. Yes, you could. Wouldn't it be amazing? To yes, have? it would. No, but then it's like I didn't spin it. So we can just buy yarn. But you know how it's like some people want to knit something for other people just to knit with the yarn and then they yeah. go on their way. I yeah. mean, maybe that's a thing too. Um, it was an Etsy shop. This one is she called has an, Chakras. She has an Etsy shop and she also has a website. I noticed the website. Yeah. Why does she have two? I don't know. Wonder. I don't know. This was from the Etsy website. Okay. Um, it's called Chakras. And when the world opens up, she has a beautiful booth. I've seen her at Stitches West twice. Stitches West has moved. Yes. To Sacramento. Yes. A little north. 
Is that so what it's it is? A little clo- Maybe each year they'll move a little closer. It'll end up being Stitches West That's in Edmonton. That's a great show. Yes. That's a great show. I feel like we we'll be going to Stitches that. West. And it's because there's more... The convention center and there's more hotels right there and it was i'm sure it's going to be just as good as where it was before but i think that hotel February, was awesome sacramento in february sign me up jody i want to go everywhere and i heard rhinebeck was going to be in person this year i heard the same thing it's going to be a gong don't show. count me in for rhinebeck this yeah year. don't look for me at no. rhinebeck even though i would love to be there yeah i feel I think like we'll slowly reintroduce i still want to yeah if somebody said, hey, we have a bedroom for you, I'd be like, hmm. Just a minute. Let me think about that. Okay. Gorgeous. Okay. You want to see yarn I got? Oh, you guys. These are the socks coming. Oh, good. I'm glad you brought them. Beach party. Look at this yarn I got. I couldn't handle, handle the colors. That's amazing. Jody. Yes, it's amazing. I'm sorry, because it's my colors and they're, they're tonal, they're a bit But don't tonal. you think putting them together, yes. that color combo is amazing. Yeah. So this is uh, blue steel, which is a very bluey gray. Yeah. It's so beautiful. And then May flowers, which, oh my gosh. So this, it's really purple. It's got pink. like a wash yes. over the best pinky, mm -hmm. whatever. And this is Summer Skies, but it's it leans a little minty. I agree. Uh, and to me, together, they're just like BFFs. Love it. So these are all DK weight, superwash merino nylon, and I'm going to be casting these on and knitting something fun and colorful. I, I think I'm going to go for socks first, but I really can see color work color work in these like a cowl and a hat beautiful. and mittens and stuff very like that. beautiful so, color colorful jode love Thank and you. it is literally the best customer service because i order and then the next thing i know it's in my mailbox i didn't even get a chance dropped to, off at my to house text you no i didn't even know it was there you know what i did get what my last installment oh, Julia, that's good okay and i re-upped okay so you guys do you remember the funny story about like these DK sets are coming. Jody's and like, I don't remember ordering. ordering this yarn. <laughs> she gifted me three months. So this is the last month. It's called Strawberry Farms. Now, she has an inspiration picture. She's so good at interpreting. Robin of Rose Hill Yarns. She's yes. very local to us. She's very amazing. And she does so many clubs and so yeah. many. She, you're right. She uses inspiration photos. Yeah. And I, I have never seen anybody so bang on. Yeah when they the, with the colors and stuff she's, she's very talented so this is like some golds and yellows and some different greens and kind of snotty green like it's i love gorgeous. it gorgeous so this was the last installment boohoo i ordered the six month club <laughs> i'm so happy to hear that so robin then that's what she said she messaged me and said i'm because so, she doesn't usually get a lot of feedback right unless people reorder and right. i said i could order a club from you Every time. I totally agree, Jode. And it's an 80-20 superwash. It's a 75-25. 75-25. So you can socks. be doing your superwash or your socks if you're into... So it's a base that you can literally knit anything with. You guys. This would be so beautiful as a, as a color in color work sweater. Yeah. Let's speckle. Yeah. It would be... You can do anything with this stuff. She has Jody, a fingering I club. I believe it's a one, three, or six months option. DK and, fing DK and fingering. I'm... Don't quote me on that, but there's still lots of options to order. She She's always got lots of yarn for whoever is popping into the shop. Wait till you see what I ordered. I'll show it next time. It hasn't come. Okay, good. It's called Blueberry Waffles. Oh, I, I know which one that is, With the Joey. lemon mini? Yes. Tracy. I, beautiful. Anyway, yes. Beautiful. Okay, so I mentioned... Put these down there. I mentioned a while ago how excited I was that Hannah of Circus Tonic Handmade was back back in business. They had taken like this awesome family break. They just, Love they that. went on the road, the whole family. They just traveled around in their awesome, you know, camper thing and had all these experiences, but she's back dying. So we were talking about sparkle socks. Both of these have gold sparkle. I think Are they're you kidding? freaking that amazing. Color. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. 
So this one is called Piazza del Duomo, and it's a gray with like a beautiful speckle of purples. And this is Zinfandel, and it's totally a grapey, Movie. grapey, grapey tonal. Yeah. Um, the Stellina is very fine in there. It's really pretty, yeah. and it's gold, which I just love. And Hannah is so sweet. She sent, <gasps> she sent extras. So I'm totally, I said to her, is it oh, okay? Oh, I would have seen you order that. I know. So this is a mini set of hers. Oh my gosh, stop it. This is called Wilted Rose and it's blushes and mauves. And then That's this stunning. really pretty speckle. And I, I mean, it's so amazing. I, of course I want to knit everything, but I just think it would also be the best prize for someone to get something like this. I you agree. could put it in, in That's a how shawl. I always think, right? So I'm totally going to make sure that heads into a mm. prize beautiful base but hannah has more than one like more than just the superwash yarn she's got oh my god you've got to feel this this God. is non superwash 100 percent australian super fine merino it's it like, is so soft the bounce it is to this the spot the spin the twist i mean i cannot get over and this color especially this almond color is screaming to be a sweater it's so beautiful it's Mill Post Merino. What's so that name? I don't know what that is. But this Limon. is. Limon. But these are, yeah, Limon. Shit. So these are ha a 50 gram Hanks. So perfect for color work, perfect for small projects. San Giovese. Yeah. San Giovese. Yeah. You guys. So these together, you could make a cowl, you could make hat, mittens, whatever, but they would also be the coolest um, color work. Like these could be your contrast colors in color work. You guys, this base, it's, you must feel it. And look how tonal. That like yellow. Like the lights and dark. I love a tonal skein like that. I think it adds so much interest when it's got some variations of, oh, of the tones in there. Jody, it is so beautiful. Oh, look at this. Yes. This I might even it. be a kit for a hat. I got to look on her website. Oops, I just dropped that on the ground. Wow. Um... And Hannah's got really fun things in her shop. She sent me a lip gloss. She's got lip gloss? She's got tuft woolens. Love that. And enamel pins and chow but lip needles. Gloss. Okay, but this is really nice. This is Maine Beach. Are they Australian? Yes, this is an Australian company. Do you want to try some? No, I tried this. Okay, it's awesome. My lips are dry. It's awesome. It's really oh, nice. Oh, it's like a chapstick. It's got no color. Mm. But super like moisturizing. Oh, it's very the sheen is very nice and in that. fruity. And this is the kakadu plum one. Okay, I'm gonna say something. Kaka? Well, it sounds so good. Jody. Let me smell your finger. <laughs> smell your own finger, weirdo. <laughs> smell this. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. So they she's got. A... <laughs> I don't say this often, but I'm gonna say it now. You're <laughs> bad. So I mean, I do have a couple of other things in. Oh. We have Mayak that came. Do we? Jody, it's so. I have nothing else that came. What about that Beautiful. box? Did you That's... Just... Okay. Okay. So I, you know, we love Mayak. Mayak had a little promotion on, and they have a base. So I've knit with the Baby Yak Medium before. Okay. And I've bought the lace before, and those were yak bases. <gasps> but she has, they've got a oh, wool man. base. So Tibetan Ooh. wool, which I have never tried. It's called Tibetan cloud. You guys, that's beautiful. Super soft. I was so surprised. This red is one of their new colors, and that's totally why I ordered. I thought, wow. I can totally see something you wearing this. Um, it's got a beautiful slight halo to it. Yep. It's a light twist. It looks like it's a two-ply. It's beautiful, so you guys. So 328 yards on 100 grams so dk-ish tulipano tulipano DK to sport oh kelly says tibetan cloud is her favorite i am not surprised i imagine color work tracy with the red and the nat this is the natural um but then when the yarn came paula was this is a really really pretty red it's really good yeah it's kind of a poppy red 
Like it's not dark blue red. Yeah. It's got a little bit of warmth to it. It's I'm It's not orange, but it's leaning the reds that lean that way. It is a warm red, not a cool red. I love it. And Paula just sent the sweetest note and she said, "Make sure you share this with Jody." And I you said, could said, "You could have said, whatever, look what I ordered from Paula. I ordered all this from Maya." What makes you think I wouldn't? <laughs> so this amazing book. So she shared some more bases and Look i've never issue i've never even seen them before anyway she's a sweetheart and is this brand new i don't or think so you? so i'm unfamiliar with that <gasps> for sure this is crazy beautiful look at that is a hundred percent cashmere it is not it is a hundred percent cashmere it it's would make 50 grams it is 128 yards it would make the nicest hat jody Beautiful colors. What weight is that? 128 yards for 50 grams. DK. DK. <gasps> socks. No, I can't. <laughs> no, you can't do socks. But you could do a cowl, like a <gasps> neck thing, or a hat would Look be amazing. Are these two together? Totally. That's and so they beautiful. they're so cool at Mayak. They they launch different bases all the time. Like their bases are Love obviously that. all their own. But their latest is a summer base, and it is. Um, 50% baby yak and 50% organic cotton. And this is fingering weight. It's called Koopa. The, the way the color takes this base leaves a little bit like a heathery look. And I think the base itself is very... Um, it's light as a Brownish, feather. right? Like the yak okay. is not a, a white base. It's kind of a natural color. So mixing the cotton and the yak and then dyeing it you're going to get this kind of heathery look it's 25 gram skeins yep you guys i love a little light skein. fingering it's so it, it is absolutely stunning it would make the most beautiful shawl or cowl oh. or anything like this whole color palette would be just beautiful so each skein Paola, it's beautiful each skein is 116 meters so all of these six together is like the perfect yardage for a shawl so we'll have to do a giveaway. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes. Or I totally keepsies. agree. No, no, no. Well, it's just such a beautiful I gift. Know. And a, it would make an amazing prize <gasps> for somebody. This Whoa. is like, what? What? Wow. Boy, okay, ever look at those colors. Yeah. It's like she knows us. This is the Baby Yak Medium, which we have knit with. This is, this seems a little bit different than... When did we knit the baby yak Like medium? when we knit our, our shawl, the um, hipster shawl? Yeah. It's, maybe it's just me, but it feels a little bit, I'm, I think this is the baby yak medium. It's, it's 117 meters for 50 grams, which I'm sure that's what this is. It seems less, which is like a, a DK not the word, but smooth. It just seems like lusher and softer and the twist seems a little bit different, but maybe that's just me. Oh, this this is color beautiful. palette. Saffron, yes, petrol, and emerald. Yes. So all of these, it's just beautiful. Like so these are each 117 meters for 50 grams now. So that is it's 100 percent baby yak. Yeah. Yeah. It is the baby yak medium, but twist is different. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it feels just as beautiful as is this what it is now? It is. Or you can, this is, this the twist is, is a bit different. Yeah, this is, it's be just, just as beautiful. It is just as beautiful. It's actually got a luster, like a sheen to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is what we knit our hipster shawls in. I knit, I would just, I just love this yarn. I love it. It's a DK weight. The colors are so vivid. They're beautiful. Paula, thank you so much. Thank you, thank this you, thank you. This petrol is amazing. Paula, thank you. So even this this weight of um, yarn, again, 50 gram hanks would be perfect for color work. Yeah. Or shawls. And yes. if you need any pattern inspiration, I don't know anybody Text that Tracy. does more. No. <laughs> I'll give you Jody's cell phone number and you can text her. Um, I don't know anybody that does more samples than Paula. I know. So they have an amazing selection of samples and beautiful Instagram and on their website, there's kits. So yeah. I just, these are incredible. I've what never seen two of those bases in person. So 100% cashmere. I kept this tissue because I can see a colorway with this. Jody. 
I'm sorry. I it's still like water. think. I still think you should take this home and make yourself a hat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Twist my rubber arm. Totally. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Um, Thank that's you. Super generous. Yeah. So appreciated. That would be amazing to give away the cut the summer yarn. Now there's it's two. Just, the timing is just Let's right. Do like it. about six. Let's do it. I mean, I love it. But honestly, it would make the most stunning shawl, and I'm sure there's got to be some kind of inspo. And obviously, there, right? people will only enter if they feel like they want to knit it, right? Oh my gosh, of course you want to knit it. Yak and cotton. Who knew? Yeah, love it both. It's so... Oh, Paula's here. So beautiful. I didn't see you earlier, Paula. Thank you. I hope everything is amazing in New York. I know they're moving, and that's always a huge, scary, like, awful job, packing up everything and moving. Um, but at least it's not super hot yet, right? Is it super hot? Uh, but there's beautiful, like, all, there's so many kits they have on their site. Yeah. I was just looking. It's, there's So that's interesting to know that the twist is a little bit different on Baby Yak Medium now. I love it just as much. I love them yeah. both. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super soft. Okay. So what I have now. Once you go yak, you never go back. <laughs> That's hilarious. You gotta. You gotta yak. Um, so now I've got a, one thing that I purchased. Okay. And I've got Mrs. No. Our grocery girls update information and to the max yarn. Okay, so Adela um, is having a pre-order. Just kidding. She's not. <laughs> JK, she's not. You do that every I time. Know. And I, I fall for it every time. I was like, what? And she probably How come thinks, I didn't know about that? She probably like daggers out of her eyeballs when she hears that. She is not having a pre-order, but I just want to show this yarn. Her blood pressure goes up a little It's not time. available, but it's just so beautiful. I want you to be able to see it too. Jody, we bought the same thing. I love it. Um... This yarn. Did was... you buy it in the update? Yes. How did you get it? I asked her ahead of time. Jody, I was like sweating bullets, and I had a timer set, and oh my god, it was great. But I actually go ahead, show the sock set. I um, got this too. This is screaming to be a sweater. It's called Plummeting Upward. It's the full skein, and the mini is called Skyrocketing Downward. Look at her speckles. Okay, she's real good. I'm real heavy with speckles. She's. I don't know if she knows this, but she's got a lot of talent. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. Yes, it's amazing. And it's the gray wash, or I don't know what you call that, but look at the colors that are in that. Like, isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah. I just love so looking at it. So when you go to her Twins. shop. We're twinnies. When you go to her shop right now. It's closed. It's closed. Taking a break, That's which right. I love. And you know what? She's put up the back in 15 minutes sign on the front door. <laughs> Don't you hate going somewhere and it's like that? It's like, was that two minutes ago? Like, excuse or was me? that like was this from yesterday or what? Right. Um, she's put a do not disturb. She's taking a break. That's right. Um, I guess that's allowed. Yeah. We, I love that. I loved when I saw How that. She actually. come up with such good names too. I don't know. Some people are just talented that way. Naming is And it hard. is a talent. Sorry, excuse me? What? I know. Can't even. Um, this was kind of like a, a zombie Halloween-y kind of theme to it because she had, she had a ton of yarn. Amazing graphic um, of Lola as a zombie. Yes. It was really cool. Um, I meant to bring the sticker. Oh, did you get the sticker? Yes. It was oh, actually, it guys, was actually really, really I found cute it. to see Lola as a zombie. Yeah. And she had worked tirelessly oh, on the update. I have two. Aww, you get one. Thanks. Lola Bean Larn. So cute. So that was kind of the overall theme. This is um, very holographic. Nightmare Before Christmas mini sets. There's two of each color. There's Jack, Sally, and Oogie Boogie. That's so cute. I, you know two what? minis of each color? I love how she did that. How many, how many grams are the minis? 20 grams. Per mini. So there's 120 grams okay. here. Okay. In three different okay, colorways. Those colors are amazing. You know, I'm not always a green. That is amazing. You guys look at that. That and, is super, super, And then super Sally. Cute. Of course, it looks exactly like Sally. And then look at that. I love. I'm going to do a Lola Bean granny square for my blanket. Jody. That's what I wanted these Maybe for. Maybe you'll have more than one. Yes. Or, or no, maybe. No, I won't. Yeah, because you I hold just, it double. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, still, that'll be amazing. Um, and she's always going to die more. Please don't fret. She's dying as oh, much as she sure. can. Oh, for These sure. These will be available again one day. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Halloween yarn coming. Yeah. Um, that is amazing. I love it. Yes. Yeah. Is that the same? This is the same. This is, these are different. It's just a little lighter. It's oh, darker okay. down here. Oh, I see. see. It's I just see. the way it's twisted. I love the colors. Okay, I so I bought, this one jumped off the page at me. Were you just clicking wildly? No. Without looking? No, I went straight to the item that I wanted, which was the sock set. And then I got cocky and put something else in my cart thinking, I hope I have time to check out. But this one is so beautiful and bright. <gasps> Are wasps going to be bad this year? This is actually not a color that you can get all the time. This is a one of a kind. So for whatever reason, this is not what she was going for. But I tell you, what? I love it. I love that splash of the neon yellow. Yes. It. Yeah, it's beautiful. So this was, I just thought this was super turquoisey and pretty with this little splash of extra color. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't know what she was going for, but I love it. I love it too. I love it. So yay for updates, yay. yay for breaks, yay for visits from family to recharge your battery. Okay, I might keep one. You can have three. Let's um, let's move. So that was it. Other than I have one more. Okay, show us. Oh my gosh, you guys. You did. She has. A I ordered pig. this a long time ago. Susan B. Anderson has this pig in a sweater pattern that just came out. It's. I can't even tell you everything that comes out of hers is so good and so well done. I was waiting for her owl kit to be back. Are you on her Instagram or no. you're texting? I'm going to show you the picture of these owls. They were originally in the making magazine, which I have the pattern that way. I'm going to pull up the pig too. Okay. So Susan B has, oh, maybe it's better to go to Barrett Wool. So Barrett Wool Company is Susan B. Anderson. And these owls were in Making Magazine. Don't you love the heart around the face? Jody. So that one's got baubles and embroidery. <gasps> oh. And the other one is color work. But, you know, she had kits. So you get a full skein of her cream yarn. And then she made minis, the exact amount that you need, plus... There's a little bit of felt in here and embroidery thread. I would make so that too. Every single thing. And I added her little owl tape measure because you can never have enough tape measures. You know what? I Isn't that so cute? Yes. I think her tape, you that's more than one tape measure you have that's so special. Yeah. And actually this kit came with the pattern. This is the pig, you guys, in a sweater. Is she not ridiculous? Oh, so cute. I meant to And that one's big. It's a big pig. See, you get little embroidery thread. Like, I don't have to go and source anything. This kit is ready to roll. Look, a pig's butt. <laughs> That's so cute. And her yarn is a joy to work with. So I'm definitely making these owls. And now I have every little thing to do it. I actually waited. Um, on her website, you can put your email in and get notified when something comes back in stock. And that is what I did. So... Barrett Wool always has the most amazing kits. They're so, Susan is so good with putting in her team. I think it's her son only, just the two of them still. I do believe so. They're amazing at what they do. Susan's going to be a granny so. very soon. And look at this baby hat. It's like she's been practicing forever. She's got all the cutest baby right? things. Yes. And she's done a little embroidery tag. Are you kidding? That baby is going to be the best knitted. Can you imagine dress? the nursery with no. all the little stuffed animals and the quilt that she'll have in the crib? She's amazing. Anyway, what a blessing for their family to have a baby on the way. She's That's so crazy. Lucky. Okay. I feel so, like we're obnoxious that we're so long all the time. Two and a half hours. I know. We're just about done. <laughs> it's not. It is what it is. Um. So I was thinking. So I had been thinking of like a tie-dye yarn before we do tons of tie-dyeing in our house. And then I've seen some different companies pop up and I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and try it. It kind of worked. Jody, I love it. I'm not, it's not in the shop. I, I haven't decided. So this is an ex a yarn experiment. Yeah. The ties had a tiny bit of hot pink dye on them, which I don't hate. I don't hate that either. Um, so this actually, is like yeah. a char dark charcoal base. 
I love it. Okay, so I kept, I'm gonna keep one. And you can have those. They would make the cutest sock sets. I'm gonna crank a tube. Crank a tube. I wanna see what it does. Yes. I would love to see it yes. a tube cranked. So it's like, it's Thank literally tie-dyed. It's zip this strips. This gray is beautiful. Yeah. Really cool and leaning charcoal -y, which yeah. is beautiful. Okay, I'll do that today. So that was fun. Those aren't in the shop, Thanks. but I just thought that was fun. Wouldn't it make the cutest sweater? Yes. I feel like maybe I will. Yes. Right? Maybe I'll just make a small tube. Well, um, here, I can't take four. No, because no, of Tracy, I, no. please, I'm not taking Jody, the I will one. not. I don't want it. Don't even. I don't want it. Don't, don't even. Oh, my God. I've got some. I can make a short tube and still make a sweater. I know, but now you have four skeins. I can do dye at any time. You know what I thought, you guys? Do a light color of the skein I'm first. I'm swatching too for you. I'm gonna make a swatch. Do a light color all over yeah. the yarn, then put your strips and then put a dark, so then it's like pink blips or blue. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Um, this is to the max yarn, but this one is not in the shop, but stay tuned, you never know. Yeah. It's kind of a work in progress. Yeah, it was just an experiment. It's awesome. And so, I actually love, like you were just saying, that little flash of. So now I'm gonna show you some sock sets. These aren't in the shop. It's photographed. And it's the first thing I'm gonna do when I go home is put all of these in the shop. I just didn't have time this morning. Oh, Jody, what the heck? Um, not all of them are on fingering and DK, but some of them are. This is called- So shop update later today. Yes. Or, as this afternoon yeah. goes on. This is called All Inclusive. It was this most beautiful, beautiful Mexican street. Wow. And it was so beautiful. The, the houses were all different but colors. Like if that is the perfect pink, the perfect blue, the perfect orange and pink together. It kind of bled can't, together and made enough. the most beautiful like purples and things. It's amazing. And I also have it on DK. <gasps> but I and two minis? Two minis of the same color. Love it. If you want to do some Wow. Color. Okay, so um that's pretty 30 flirty and fry thriving. oh if you guys that's such a good idea if you guys see i'm the, gonna the you, dresses judy greer's dress is the mini it's this beautiful like um avocado with some dark lace and then uh jennifer garner's um dress we did a sock set and guess guess who i was messaging judy greer she followed me. She followed me. I kind of <laughs> lost my, I was like, what? And I told my husband, and he goes, and I said, like, and he's like, who is she again? Can you remind me? And I was like, and he goes, oh. Jordan just about lost her mind. <laughs> and so we were messaging back and forth. We're going to, I sent Judy yarn. We're going to knit socks together. Nice. We are going to knit 30 flirty and thriving that socks. That is so cute. So this is Jen's, and you know what she said casually? She's like, oh, I'm going to knit them and send them to Jen. I just about fell out of my chair. <laughs> Who would love handmade anything? Right? I'm surprised. Yes. I'm actually surprised I th that she's not a knitter. Maybe she is. She's obsessive cook. I yeah. love following her. But yeah, um, she would so love. So 30 Flirty and Thriving is in Jody. the shop. That's I love super that. cute. Okay. Because think about how old that movie is. But classic. In like, oh, I could watch it a hundred times. Yeah. Yes. Um, this is called White Elephant Number One. That's what we're going to call our leftover hodgepodge end of the day skeins that's so, better than shit mix well i suggested that jordan <laughs> no. said it might not work how attractive is that um so this is the first I love one it. Jody, purples it's so fun. and pinks this is called white elephant number one love it right um okay this <gasps> it's a micro this is so 80s this is a micro stripe because it's half and half yes. so this is going to be like a micro self-striping stripe set this is called Poison Ivy. I think if you need anything cranked, you should leave it with me and I'll, if you want. Okay. This is Jordan's. This is called Pink Alicious. That's really pretty. It's got two different color. It's got- um, Little speckles. Little teeny weeny speckles. I love it. She's much more refined. Look, that got a orange peel. That's beautiful. Speckle on it. Oops. This is also Jordan's. <gasps> That's so It's called pretty. Mermaid Party. I was going to say it totally looks like a mermaid or a unicorn or- yeah. Love it. So that's mermaid. Um, this is spring <gasps> fling. I thought this was really fun. That is really fun. That green is great. It's got like a periwinkle, this bright green, and some a really pretty pink. The mini is sparkle. 
which yay. Love it. Okay, this one I oh, love. Oh, Jody. Oh, that's going to be really nice. This one we called Flamingo. It's got two different color grays and it's got this really pretty neon -y That's going to be beautiful knit up. I mean, it already is beautiful, but I can see where that's going. Okay, that's this, really pretty. This sold <gasps> super well. This is on my fourth batch dyeing of Seaside Mimosa. Really? I haven't shown it on the podcast. This is the DK set, but we will also have it on fingering. That's awesome. There's this really pretty like brunch table. And it's on this like the, the side of an Italian like mountain and it has mimosas on the table. So this is a DK set. I love it. Those blues are gorgeous and that orange is so perfect. Okay, this, I love. <gasps> this is also going to be a micro stripe. It's called Don't Be Coy. Oh my goodness. Who are you? K-O-I. Whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to show that in a sec. Oh, oh, this is called Meddling Kids. Does that ring a bell for you? Could you tell what, 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 I was, what we were going for? Okay. With a side of Scooby. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So this is Scooby-Doo colors. That's this has got the, the blue, the purple, the orange, and the green, oh right? Oh my gosh. And then a speckled Scooby-Doo mini. That's hilarious. Are you throwing it back or what? God. Okay, that'll show. This was really fun. Jordan tried a new- oh, that's pretty. Jordan tried a new technique to get speckles on there. That's super beautiful. This is called Pink Sand. I love it's it. just hot pink for days. Okay, this is Care Bears. Sign me up. Care Bears. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. We were really busy this week. I am at, I can imagine. Yeah. Look at all this stuff. Care Bears. This shop is going to be loaded. Okay, this is really fun. It's called Pansy oh, I Garden. Love, I love that. It's not what I picked, what I was trying to do, but it sure turned out beautiful. It looks totally like a, like a Monet. Like yeah. A, yeah, it's See, really pretty. that would have been a better name. No, you can't, no, this is Pansy Fucking Garden's Pansy perfect. Garden. <laughs> I love the name, and I think that's really, really gorgeous. That's so funny. Those are going to look like very blended, beautiful the whole way through. socks. Yeah. yeah. With uh, the punch of that pretty purple. Yeah. This is that's cool. Technicolor Zebra. This is going to be a micro stripe as well. Love it. A tonal black, and then the other side is speckled. Holy free holies. Okay, this one, you guys. Call, I, me, call me by your name. Have oh, you seen yes, it? yes. With a side of peach. Those colors are beautiful. <laughs> a peach mini. Jordan had a picture. She She's obsessed with Timothee Chalamet. He's a hottie. And He's... we loved this, this, the love story in this movie. I, I mean, I just loved the movie, and this was the first one she wanted to that create. That skein's actually just gorgeous. Isn't that she pretty? She did a great job. Like yes. with this soft straw like yellow, and it's got some blues and some of this light green how about um lunch at chipotle oh my god diarrhea color <laughs> no nobody wants that color um, oh that is insane okay Jody. this is a new batch of pride i think i went a little heavier on the dyes i did write it down but this is the the updated version of pride that is or maybe i should call this a, no this is pride version dark i will go back to the other one but this batch today is in i particularly love this batch it's got neon. The intense colors I yeah. love. Amber said she can make that color. Right. And then this is the DK set with the two, the neon um, coral mini and the aqua. I love it. The Jody, I love, DK. like, love, love, love it. That's okay. so eye catching. And in celebrating with Pride Month, because we love to celebrate Pride, mm -hmm. um, this is the trans flag. Oh my gosh. Whoops, I'm just going to pull that label right off, actually. Oh, geez Louise. This is the trans. That's awesome. Flag. It actually goes um, blue, white, pink, white. Like it's the actual That's amazing. pride flag. Yeah. And then this, in honor of Mackenzie, um, is goodness. pansexual. Love it. Pansexual flag, which is yellow, pink, and it's really yellow great. in the middle, pink, and blue on either end. I've been catching up on my Oprah conversations on Apple TV Plus. Did you watch the one with Elliot Page, speaking of trans? I had moments in that where I was just like, I, 
I don't know how. I hope I was, everybody watches that. Yes. I felt. Moments of like. Joy for her. Joy, joy for and him. See, seeing his pain. Yes. And how real it's been his whole life. Yes. But then the Things action that you don't yes. even think about. No. I, I hope people with Apple TV get a chance to watch those conversations. They've all been so good, but that one really and just was the yes, the pain, but which was horrible right. and I was in tears at some points, but now the joy that they're actually yes. living, he's his authentic self and is just for finally right. feels like he's in the right body yeah. and living the life he should. But yeah. he looks the way he feels. Yes. And live and is able to live that life. Yeah. Yeah, it was fantastic. And I've been watching the Oprah um, and Prince Harry, the me you can't see. I did not. You would really like it, Joe. It's all discussions on mental health. Which is so important. All kinds of stories yeah. about mental health and how important it is to deal with what you've got and yeah. to be, you know, to acknowledge if you've got some issues and how to, how important it is to just yeah. get help. Yeah. Right? I'm kind of out of the frame. I don't know where we are. Are we here? Um, are we? Okay. So. Anyway, Jody, you've been going crazy. What an amazing selection of colors. Yeah. So this afternoon, let's say within the next, let's say by dinner time, these are going to be up. Let's say that. Let's say that. Yeah. Let's see what happens. No, but for sure. Probably early or sooner. Right. If I airdrop them to Mackenzie because they're at work, it'll probably be quicker than that. I have one last thing to share. So all of these beautiful Circus Tonic yarns that I was sharing with you guys, Hannah has actually sent a coupon code. So if you're interested in going to Circus Tonic's website, she does things like gradient clubs. <gasps> yes. Yes. I would sign up for that. This is the minis that I just showed. That is them knit up. That's amazing. So if you go to her site and use Grocery 10, you can save 10%. And for those, nice. of, those of us Canadians, the Australian dollar is pretty across the board. Yes. You know, we're, lots of things are mm -hmm. so much more when we convert it to Canadian dollars. But Australian, I mean, shipping so might, bad. might be a touch higher because it's coming for so, from I so don't far. Know. I don't know. But all I know is uh, her yarn is amazing. She has several bases. She does a BFL sock that I am like crazy about. And this sock, this glitter sock base, which is her uh, fireworks sparkle sock. Love that. You will love it. You will love it. I have two more things to show and okay. we are done. Okay. Um, I didn't know that this came out originally when it did came out. But what's it called? Briochen. Briochen. Yeah. It's by Katrine Schubert. Okay. Sch Schubert. So did she design this in these colors? She designed this new brioche hat that's published already using Mount Kitchener and Sienna, Mount Kitchener and Jasper. She's knit it in both. Sorry, somebody asked what's the name? Circus Tonic. Circus Tonic Handmade. That's the name you were looking for. Yeah, beautiful. So look at this brioche hat. It's okay. I want to knit it. I'm not the best briocher, but I have that yarn it's, and it's not showing very well because they're small, but the hat I crown. I think I could do it. You absolutely could. Well, well I don't the know. The crown absolutely. is a work of art. Okay, I'll get that picture up because that is amazing. So none of the yarn that I just showed is in the shop yet for To The Max yarn. So hang on. It's going to be later this afternoon. I don't know what her name is. Um, oh, this was on Grocery Girls. Yeah, I, I re, re, okay. reposted. I don't... Okay. I just thought it was so beautiful. And the colors together, Sienna looks also amazing. With Okay, here's the Jasper version. Yeah. And it's DK. Yes. What? It's DK. Here's the crown. Yes. Like showstopper it is a showstopper so i have some sienna but i've got a different color i mean i could put another gray with it for sure i love it but so the much. mount kitchener would probably be the way to go it is such a perfect beautiful speckled tonal love it yes and yeah i guess if you guys are interested in checking out our shop don't forget there's free shipping this weekend all the way up through monday um and you are the newsletter subscribers got that yesterday but you guys are next finding out so We'll put it on Instagram at some point later today. I also thought I'd bring this option if you guys liked um, and you guys were thinking of getting um, something that, to match a hat if you were going to use your love song. I thought Pom Pom 34, it's the 
softest Jody's blush. Perfect. It's perfect with the black tips. 34 pom pom. That's what I'll put on the hat. Yes. Is number 34. Okay. Also, you guys, I don't think we showed this on the podcast. I brought them last time and forgot. No, I think you're right. These are what they call a feathery kind These of. These are two of my favorite pom-poms we've ever had. Ever. Just the tip, Amber. Just the tips are black. Yeah. So look at this, you guys. It's feathery. It's a faux fur pom-pom. It's got the little discs to stabilize the disc that you put on the inside. It's got the grow grain ribbon to tie on. And there's actually three colors in this. It's the light, light version. This, it's gonna be hard to see. Oh, you can kind of see. Um, it's charcoal. And then there's a black, almost black, in these three different ones. Yeah, like if you love the neutrals, these are so special. Like they're neutral, but they've got that other element of yeah. just being tonal and special. Um, yeah, a couple of other things I wanted to show, because I know there are some of... Yeah, we haven't done that for a while. No. Um, we restocked. Um, and we're only halfway through the podcast, so yeah. stay tuned. You might want to take a break. Hang tight. Five minutes. Um, we we re-upped our order for Tuft Woolens. We got some really fun new scents. Restocked pom-pom pucker. Uh, cranberry pucker. That's our cranberry lemon scent. Which we thought would be just seasonal, but we love it so much. We thought, forget it. We just need to have it's it. It's amazing. So Martha made more for us. Sugar skull. Yes. It's almost like a sugared caramel vanilla. Yes, vanilla. It's amazing. Yeah. And royal apiary. And it's a lavender lemon or something? Lavender yeah, lemon. so good. I mean, you can't go wrong. There's lip and hand in all of those scents. And these fit perfectly in your project bags, but honestly, you, you have to have, so, they're the best moisturizer. Are, it just, knitting sucks out the moisture out of your hands. Ugh, is that... My hands are a disaster. Did we show our pin? Not in person. Okay, so we have our newest spring uh, pin from Jill Zielinski zhuzhed up our logo mm -hmm. seasonally. And this is, look at the butterflies, the tulips. So that's specifically like spring, seasonal. We've got a series of these coming out. Yeah. There are limited edition. When they're gone, they're gone. There will not be more. So if you want to collect all four seasons, this is the spring. They are super The first. Cute. The first. Wait for the reveal of every season because it's impossible to pick a favorite. They were all so cute. So thank you, Jill. We loved that little mini makeover. Yeah. And then again, um, the love song kit's available. You get the bag. You get a limited edition stitch marker with our spring logo. Brick bubble. And the kit. And the yarn, which can be purchased separately now. Yeah. But the bag is literally the perfect size for those little socks and hats projects. It really is. And it's a uh, cotton canvas with a grow grain ribbon. And they're really fun. I love it. We we bought this bag before and it worked out really, really well. So I that's swear, it. That's it. I that swear it. my chair is empty. I for sure. Oh my gosh. That took a moment. So but it's so beautiful and quiet now. I'm gonna take We should start doing this at eleven, because I feel like they start their yard work at ten. I feel oh okay. I'm gonna take a picture of your what? Of my what? And show people. Oh, I have a garden bed. Tracy has a raised garden bed now. See that giant plant in the middle? Jody bought me. <laughs> Jody bought pepper. me a pepper plant with six peppers on it already. Like I'm gonna have peppers so soon. So you bought this bottom section. This it's white. It's literally just a border. Yes. So it just clips together in about three minutes. You just clip all these things together. Um, and then we put some really good soil in it and it's on a bed of um, river rocks kind of so that there's really good drainage. We yeah. used to have something, it's always, but that's the corner of my yard that gets south facing sun all day. Hot, hot. So it's perfect. I've been growing tomatoes over there for a while, but I just had this barrel, this wine barrel and it kind of fell apart. It was literally, we've been here 29 years. This barrel was way older than and that. And you love to grow these things. A barrel I do. is smaller. I do. So now instead of like a pot of herbs and all these other yeah. things separate, everything is together. So I've got some nice um, basil and thyme and rosemary and mint and then some peppers and, and two tomatoes. Oh God, I and I also have some 
uh, mixed greens and Swiss chard that I'm just going to keep clipping as little baby mixed greens for salad. So once that starts producing, I will be bringing you greens because, oh my God. We've been doing this for two hours and 45 minutes. Yes, Jody, it's what, obnoxious. What can we cut out that... The half an hour of no. chitter chatter? That's fun. It is fun. I don't know. Anyway, it is it is long. Take it in parts. We're not going to change. That Thank is you. right. We um, are happy to share everything. This is exactly how we want to do it. We want to share patterns and um, these beautiful giveaways and all our knitting. Yeah. And next time I will have passed on a new sweater. I don't know what. I'm going to buy yarn for my new sweater. Are you going to do that? Yes. Uh, Cardi? Yeah. Okay. Because my granny square blanket sweater, which I, truly you guys, I've only gotten this, like this far. It's going to fly. That was an evening. You guys, this thing is going to fly. And it's crocheted? Yes. Yeah, it will crochet. Yeah. Or, I mean, it will go fast. Yeah. And you'll have all these, and it's all your colors? It's lollipop, that bright neon pink from to the max yarn yes oh it's all one color gonna be one color i thought oh the... i thought you meant stripes like other colors that's gonna be beautiful though jody i think for the first one i'm gonna try one color right i don't know that i'm a scrappy i yeah i don't know that it would be an awesome advent project probably yeah. jode i think and I... it's a pattern yes i'll Good. bring it next time good yeah. Okay, well, that's exciting. Thank uh, you. We will have show notes in Ravelry. We will yeah. have our 52 weeks of shawls giveaway there, too. Thank you again to everybody. Yeah. Um, and we hope you have a great two weeks. It does yeah. seem to go pretty quick. See you two in two weeks, weeks, right? Flies by. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I should have more knitting than this. Well, Take care, you guys. Anything, Stay but... safe. Okay. See you bye, soon. Bye, bye.